Hey everybody, welcome back to Dice and Delinquents on our playthrough of Tomb of Annihilation, episode 35. Um, we are going to do our character introductions, and I can hear myself again. I think it's Sauce. <laughs> Sauce is muted now. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had muted myself originally. Yeah, I was trying to turn it down. Okay. Uh, Emma, are you here? Yes. Okay. I you've got a little exclamation point on you um, for me, but go ahead and uh, do, can introduce your character. Um, I am Jake. I play Emma Farage. Uh, they are a armor artificer rogue combo. Just got extra attack, thank God. Um, well, not really extra attack, but artificer version extra attack. Um, and they're a tab tabaxi, and they've got a little uh, bag that is currently not animated, but when it is, is their friend uh, Jeremy. 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 Jesus. <laughs> Jeremy. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, forgot to mention, uh, this is done off stream, but everybody leveled up, so they're level six now. So, um, Heck yeah. Uh, if that was it, Emma, uh, we'll go over to Toss. Yes, that is it. Hey guys, I'm Max. I play Tassos Sartis, a uh, Yuanti paladin, uh, and our group's wonderful chef. Yes. Uh, with the extracurricular activities. Yep. <laughs> That's good for me. All right, Dr. Victor. All right. Hi, I play Dr. Victor Gallagher, um, a human... Um, cleric and blood hunter um sort of dark uh worn clothes um with wrists um wrapped in red cord um and um a holy symbol um and uh has um, a plate mask that he wears often during combat and that's pretty much it. Oh, a bunch of scars, like yep. lightning. All right. And uh, quick question, Victor. You haven't done a, or no, you have. You've done since the new. You got your new blade. You've done one right. I think. All right. Just, yeah, I've done my rights. What? what? <laughs> with the new blade, the sun. Blade. Oh, you've yes, only done I it have. once that I'm aware of. Yeah, I made my my sunblade extra shiny. <laughs> yes, it, which it already does sunlight, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just just make it you got more radiant. <laughs> yeah. So extra extra blinding light. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Okay, and finally, Merrick. I am Merrick, a druid halfling. Uh. Who should be moving a lot faster now than I've leveled up? Yes, um, yes. and you know what? I'm going to say you it, you got a horn. Just I got a horn because yeah, nobody's I, everybody's seen it. Uh, yeah, no one. Nobody has said anything like, "Why nope. does this halfling have a?" And huge... he has a horn when he changes into his beast forms yeah. as well. He still has a horn, yeah. so nobody's it's... questioned it. <laughs> Yeah, apparently we've all just accepted that everyone's very strange. Um, Was your grandfather a rhino? <laughs> if he was, I wouldn't be a tiny half. Yeah, exactly. True. <laughs> You'd think I'd be a little bigger. <laughs> Maybe a great, great, great grandfather. That's why you I got the small horn. I prepared a backstory because I was like, oh, oh, someone might ask about this, but then nobody asked about it. So. Well, we've been kind of off and on like oh it, it's not a horn it's a, like a gray streak in your hair but no it's I a horn you have <laughs> yeah, it's knows. a horn it's yeah a horn. i've been trying to yeah play it off like we're not going to say that during when you made the character that you accidentally forgot to remove the horn no, i mean yeah, that, that clearly didn't happen purpose. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> why wouldn't it be on purpose that's yes. the real question 
everything in my life is so well planned out. Yes, I exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Yep. So, cool. since yeah. Emma was not here last session, 60 second recap. Or Well, if you haven't been here, it's only a 30 second. Um, well, uh, we got attacked by those robed people. They ended up casting a suggestion spell, a mass suggestion spell on all of us, and told us to jump into the lava. It was extremely powerful, and we all did it, and we died. Yeah, I love that up. all of our quick summaries are always TPKs. Yeah, yeah it, I was... it's turned into, instead of quick recap, like, okay, how the party died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mentioned That's, that on It's Friday. because it's also been me recently, and I'm always yeah, making yeah. it. <laughs> Hey, I, I'm down with it. I, I like it. Um, okay, now who wants to do a, the 60 second actual recap? You can, if you get it in, th in 60 seconds, you get uh, an inspiration. Oh, fuck. You all have already have inspiration, don't you? <laughs> yes. I, I do, actually. I, yeah. so. God I damn it. Do. I even do all it. Right. I can't even do it. Here's the thing. If I do it, I get inspiration. I don't... I sort of remember what happened, I think. That, um, that, I don't know. That sounds like a volunteering to me. Okay, you so... All told you, yourself. We explored more we went to go find this other temple over here but then we we stopped by here where we saw some bodies and we went in and we ex uh, searched the bodies um and there were dogs all over, over the place and then we heard someone from this other building down right right down here um and we went to save him and uh merrick uh slid through a little hole um to to go get him out um and we talked to him and he was part of this other group who was um, one of a couple groups searching the area of, of different temples um, to find exactly what we're looking for. So then we decided to team up, and then we were debating whether we were going to continue on right now or go rest, and then we decided to go uh, rest over here where we had, like, a nice safe spot um, because both the nearby temples had already been um, dealt with, and we were planning on going over here next, um, and that's where we left. Preparing to the prince. Right. With five seconds to spare, nicely <laughs> done. <laughs> I didn't realize that I remembered anything that happened until I started talking. So oh, yeah, it's the, it's the stress and the pressure. It's like boom, do it. <laughs> the adrenaline kicks. I'm like ah. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, fifty-five seconds. So um, I don't. I need to check if I actually have inspiration. You do. I was just yeah. looking at your character sheet. We all um, do. Yeah, you oh, well. all do. Wait, no, I don't. I don't have inspiration. You don't? No. Oh, <laughs> wait, was that? Now I do. Oh, that was. I think uh... we used a bit of inspiration last time, too, on some other stuff. It was Merrick who has it. So, okay. Yeah. I just put it on there. So. Very, yeah, very good recap. So, you guys are back um, the where you fought the Veg Pygmies and. Um, the, you got the grass high. Yes, I did. I did you that. You gave drugs to the grass, to be clear. Yep. Yes. <laughs> I did. Um, so actually... Keeping things weird over here. You know it. <laughs> the um, glorious honestly, thing. Honestly, sounds exactly like what would happen in our group. <laughs> Classic Dyson delinquents. <laughs> Hey grass, you want to get high? <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna move you guys down to that the map for where you are. This mug is fucking massive. So I think. All right. So we got everybody. Oh. Yeah, and the veg pygmies are strategically placed on the grass. Yeah. So we don't need that anymore. Um, okay, just want to make sure everybody is here. We've got Merrick, Ross, Emma, Victor, and then we have Imbok, and then Orvex. Uh, okay, that's okay. That's everybody. So uh, yeah, you guys have come back out here, and. Um, Oh, thank you. I was going to ask somebody to throw out a campfire. Um, so, 
you guys, I believe, had, uh, you guys actually got back here, uh... Take a nap around all these oh, butchered yeah. vegetables. Well, yeah, I mean, they, I mean, they're only kind of on the southern part, um... I'm, I'm joking, <laughs> saying taking a nap around all these butchered vegetables that we killed. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, yeah, actually... Uh, we said uh, it's eight o'clock right now. Um, Emma, I'm gonna say you were able to get four hours of work in on the backpack. Nice. That's what we did. So there was like four hours, cause you yeah you guys got here at like four in the afternoon, and then just kind of hung out for four hours resting, setting up camp mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So then right now it's eight o'clock in the evening. So. Uh, at this point, it's, uh, what are you guys wanting to do? I can reset my spells, right? Because we rested. Where you is haven't it? had a long rest. You rest. haven't rested yet. Okay. You're about to. That's what I was wondering. That's fine. Um, you can, I would say in that four hours, I would say you guys could have a short rest if you wanted it. Um, uh, I, uh, Emma actually, uh, if we're talking about doing a short rest, um... we were going to do a long rest. Yeah, now. I mean, you're you're coming up on a long rest, but yeah. you guys were here for four hours. Oh, I'm going to okay. say during that time, if you want to, I'd say you could have taken a short rest. We're going to let's do a long rest. I feel like Emma is just for the like the last bit of moments is just like tinkering with their like ancient like um, looking um. A, like bracer jesus i was looking for the word and they like click a specific piece and two um uh instead of the one um like thing that kind of raises out of it two of them come out that shoots off the electricity oh your lightning launcher my lightning launcher i'm tinkering with that and he just presses or she just presses a specific part and then two pop out oh, instead because you have extra attack. Extra this is a weird now. flavor thing I wanted to add. Right. Yeah, no problem. I'll say over on the edge, you're tinkering with it and fire a couple shots into it off the edge, and probably concerning everybody else, but they, <laughs> they've seen you tinkering and shooting that thing. So as long as I'm, I'm just uh, shooting it into the lava yeah, for no Azaka, reason. Azaka and the NPCs like they're not concerned as long as you're not shooting at them. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Seems like a good rule. <laughs> and actually, during that four hours, uh, uh, Orvex and uh, Embak are kind of chatting with each other. In groan. So, yeah. Um, it's, you have, you know, this is kind of your, what would normally be your camp thing, like your hour-ish time. You can do whatever you want. Um, so, so Emma was working on the backpack and then tinkering with their, uh, lightning launcher. Uh, Sauce, you got anything going on or? Um, probably just kind of setting up cooking station. Okay. Um, for the most part. All right. Uh, Victor, anything specific or? Um, I guess I'll be kind of, you know, just. Possibly playing some chess. Cool. Uh, quick interruption, but thank you, Rorikan, for their seven months of subscriptions. Thank Damn. you. Damn. <laughs> thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, they just resubscribed. That's very awesome. And they've seven months now. So, yeah, thank you. Sorry, I'm reading chat here. Okay. So, yeah, thank you for that. I'm going to try anytime somebody some subs. I will interrupt, but yes, thank you, Roar Um, um, Merrick, was there anything, uh, specific you had going on, or? Um, no, not really. You sure, uh, you sure you're not going to spend that hour trying to tune that loot? Yeah, I was just going to say that. I do have the loot okay. that I'm fiddling with. But every time... Like he's he's obviously attempting to tune this 
and every time he touches any part of it, it just the sound gets worse. Yeah. So <gasps> that's amazing. So this yeah. is for an hour. Yeah. Like the full just background noise. Blink. Blink. Yeah. And Blink. it's never in tune. It, it, it it's you know, it's if you ever heard somebody tune a guitar, how it goes yep. up and down and stuff, it's, it's just different. an hour of that. Blink. Of never being in tune. So, are you sure you don't want any help with that? I got it. Thanks. Just nailed it. <laughs> Getting there. Uh, All right. When? <laughs> <laughs> this what? Seems high. I need to, hold on. What do you roll Anytime for? Anytime soon. What do you roll for a yeah, noise? I need to make a. You guys have to make an annoyed <laughs> roll. Hold on. A I, I feel like it should be a con save. I, yeah. Uh, I'm, Wisdom is more what I'd think. Yeah, I've got to go for wisdom. Okay, okay. Or charisma. There I will you. say... Charisma is... Well, here's the thing. It's very different things. It's constitution if you're just going to try and like ignore and just uh, get through it. It's mm -hmm. wisdom if you want to try and like... I can try and find the melody in this. I can understand what... if the, You know, it's it's either muscling through or like... I'm trying choosing. to ride the way. I am saying I'm being the annoying one, so I'm going to... You don't have to make... Merrick, you don't make a roll. Oh, everybody... <laughs> no, no. This is everybody else. <laughs> yeah, you have to say... You're frustrated you. enough trying to fix it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm having a great time. No, it's, it I'm sounds sitting, good. You're almost there. You've almost got it. Play music. Yeah, I'm... Okay, I'm... I'm, I'm going to go with... Con, then. Blink, blink. Actually... Like, nope. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, all right, there's uh, Victor's roll. We need Emma and Sauce. I'm doing con too. All right. So I have a weird question first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, this whole <laughs> Can Tassos tune it out by his own recipes in his head? Just zone out. You just want to dissociate? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. I'm, I'm say... sitting there trying to think of something I could like use to make the annoying sound. It's just repeating recipes in his head <laughs> over here. I will say I, it won't give you advantage, but just that would be uh, to me a wisdom because that's okay. Trying to flow with it. That's not. Uh, so you can try. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> Yeah, that would be, I would say that's the way you're trying to do it. Oh, buddy. <laughs> that's a great score. Uh, <laughs> but they are, everybody, you don't have to make a roll for this. Clearly at this point, you can tell Merrick is completely toned down. <laughs> Just based on this, it's like, oh, it all sounds the same to him. Oh, shit. <laughs> So I'm if I were to, to go up. and intentionally interrupt this 30 <laughs> minutes in and like <laughs> intentionally say, let me take care of this. This is my specialty type of thing. You can ask. Um, Merrick, uh, can I uh, take care of this? I might be able to do something about it. I I'm think almost done. <laughs> going for 30 minutes. Blink. Blink. I think I might be able to help you with this. Just let me let me have a chance. Yeah, Give me five got minutes. I got it. I got it. Good. <laughs> Thanks. I am totally grabbing that in their sleep and fixing it for them. <laughs> I am so happy. Backlight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is just the loot they found. Yeah. I oh, mean... God. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, yeah, you guys, no. You guys have seen. They've got... It's not a, it's not a halfling size. Uh, backpack. It's a it's full a full size, backpacks. so it's almost as big as they are. Terrifying. You guys thought it was a backpack and with Blink. sticks at first. Blink. Yeah, I'm gonna get up and just <laughs> go over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh. After asking Merrick that, I'm gonna go with Victor and play some chess with him. <laughs> Blink, blink, blink. 
Um, and, and I broke a string. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Mending. A roll For to see if, it, if the string snaps at you. Well, hold on a sec. Um, <laughs> Emma, you 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 saved. Victor and Sauce, I'm sorry. Uh, can you both roll me a D100? Oh, oh, okay. You guys got a little short-term madness going on. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sauce with a 15. Heck yeah. Oh, this actually works out what you just described. <laughs> The character retreats into his or her mind and becomes paralyzed. <laughs> this is for 10 minutes. You're just staring so into the campfire. So this actually works. This is what you did. You retreated it into your mind. It, it works out perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of phenomenal, so actually. You, yeah. You're just, you kind of, you've got this, you're like looking into the fire and now it's like you've got a thousand yard stare and just, you're just going over all your recipes mm -hmm. and Thank formulas. You. And other things <laughs> that require <Yeah>. components. <laughs> For 10 minutes, um, Victor. Mm -hmm. Possibly trying to figure out how to poison Merit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Victor. <laughs> you me, just Merit. can't take it anymore. And. <laughs> that is oh, no. terrifying. I'm not going to say oh, no. 10 minutes you're doing this, but the character must use their action each round to attack the nearest creature. So I'm going to say... You just are over there kicking rocks or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm going to say because you moved, <laughs> okay. you just, like, attack that... Because this is a big... This is a big rock, actually. Don't hurt the weed I was talking to. <laughs> you, he's out of that range. He's out of the range up there. Yeah, so, Victor, uh, you punch the rock. Fun. Roll me... Uh, Damage for my fish. Yeah, because what is that? It's it's strength plus one, right? Yeah. So yeah, you don't have to roll for it. What's your strength? Pretty sure you're kind of strong. Uh, no, it's one. It's one. Your strength modifier is one. <laughs> well, yeah, the modifier. Not the okay, score. so you score take is twelve. So you take. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh yeah, so you take two damage. Great. You, as you punch that rock. And I'm not going to make you do that 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can work that in. That's fine. Yeah, that works. <laughs> you're, you're, you're speed bagging a rock. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant the one hit. Like, you okay, Victor? Just, he, he's like, <laughs> bro, his fists are bloody. Like, make it stop. Make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like... I'm just gonna use my I thing and like just guidance just, on him or some shit. I don't know what it's to more say. than just the music. It's like the length of time that this is lasting. It's oh, it's getting into my head just how long we've been doing this. Like, <laughs> oh my fucking god! We don't keep... even say it's music. It's not. <laughs> yeah. It's not music. We just so much time. So much time. <laughs> At the end of that hour, I'm going to say, go up to, to Merrick again, actually, and say, you're tone deaf. You realize that, right? I can play music. Uh, I'm going to say, Merrick, you, can't tune it. you You don't know what tone deaf means. Cause, right. I got this. Uh, it's a phrase. It, you know what tone and deaf means, but. <laughs> That's a weird opposite. It can't yeah. tell what key you're Plucking and how to That's put things That's not the into. way music works. <laughs> you have to put things in tune to make good music. <laughs> and not <laughs> annoy your friends to death. Blink, blink, blink. Flour and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> little, little bit of drool comes out of the side of... Yeah, so uh, I, I, I just like... I just like point and I'm like trying to get their gaze to look at Victor and Sauce. What? Um I'm I just dead. like I'm almost just dead. look at them. Look look at them. so that's the music that you're playing. That's what it causes. You look they, at his fists. They must be fans. Merrick uh, <laughs> Sauce is enthralled apparently with yeah. your music. Everybody's or just the tune. You haven't even You're you the have... only person who has a problem with it. 
Emma. I'm not having a problem with it. I'm pointing out that it's not very good. <laughs> That's why I mean, So that we that... don't have to deal with this constantly. But... Make for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> blink, blink, blink. Because eventually, no lie, I will steal that and I will throw it in the lava if you keep doing this. No lie. I also have eyes. <laughs> Yeah, Listen maybe I should put hurts. those in tune, too. I don't know if those are tuned, but... Do not touch my bagpipes. Also, how do you tune bagpipes? I was saying I don't know. <laughs> if they need to be tuned. I literally just said that. There must be some way. Or... It's probably like... Yeah, hey, it's... This so... is important. It, I think tuning would just be cleaning it out, technically, in a way. See? It's... It's technically Cleaning out the rods. Instrument, instrument, and I used to play the flute, and you tune the flute by pulling it out of the slots slightly. So I imagine it would be a lot of the simpler, like you adjusting the pipes themselves. And, and this is why you tune into this D and D stream because I will we bring up the important thing. Useless <laughs> Stop of Stop the game, just yeah. for this. We got so, this. how do you tune? I am here to annoy and provide useless. <laughs> so, for the most part, you don't actually have to tune bagpipes except to itself. So, you just make sure oh you god. get it in tune. Oh, yeah. that is the best thing ever! Oh my god! Like a flute. Yeah. I got this. So, I only know how to tune a violin. <laughs> so that makes sense, like, because you know the bagpipe, it's just, you tune it to itself, it makes its own noises, so yeah. now clearly, all musical instruments are tuned that way. Right. I, mean, I do I mean, want to be fair. Sense, right? That's logic. <laughs> I do want to be fair, though. Emma's got really big ears because they're a cat and they're kind of pointing outwards, so. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they're Maybe I've had disadvantage and... on that. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I wonder if you should have disadvantage. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. I'm arguing against myself there, but yeah. Blink, 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 blink. Where's the Lona? <laughs> um. Anyway, so, yeah. after having that tiff, um, I'm just gonna continue going back over to, to um, or go back over to Victor and uh, just try to bandage him up his hands. Blink. No, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, because they still had 10 pit points. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, did I? I didn't even look. I that. think everybody still has. <laughs> yeah. Except for some. Oh, yeah, I had two exactly. Never mind. Yeah. yeah so. Now I have 60 hits. Full health. Yep, full health. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say I was wearing my gloves. Blink, blink, blink. So, uh, after an hour, it's. Okay, time to. Bedtime. Get some um, alarm, by the way, just so you know. I okay. Did someone have a plan of something they were gonna do? I thought. Toss had. Oh. Evil plan. Oh, very oh, speech, oh, Shalana, yeah. that it's. Yes, yes. Do you guys want me to play something <laughs> while you fall asleep? No, we have a conversation. Okay. All right. I'll just sit over here. Do we? Keep doing this. Blink, blink, blink. <laughs> we do. Could we have our conversation over here? <laughs> oh, everyone gets to be a part of this. Right. I am going to invent earplugs. <laughs> They're not already invented. <laughs> right now, earplugs. <laughs> Canceling headphones. <laughs> yes. Blink, I'm just going to add that to a list of things I need to invent right now. Do you mind taking a break from tuning while we have this group conversation? That's that's fair. Very much a hey, put your phone away. We're having dinner. Yes, <laughs> we're at the dinner table. I did not put it away. I just set it down next to myself. <laughs> like I am being polite, <laughs> but I am not done. Emma is so tempted to just go and take it. <laughs> To try to still slide a bandit, but no, she's not going to. 
be, uh, oh be aware. Um, Merrick did say, "Don't do that." I know. I was. Okay. I'm. Well, no, no. Emma's I mean, annoyed, so <laughs> they're not gonna do it, okay. but they want to very much. Everyone is thinking about it. Yes. Yeah. And I'll say, Sauce, now you're you're out of your paralysis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. That was fun. <laughs> Victor. Yes. <clears throat> what? What was the event? The event. What was that pinnacle moment for you? The one that made you decide to change your course? Sorry, let me clarify perhaps. You wear a plague mask, placing it on before combat. It's an interesting symbol. And you seem to care to help all in need. But you're so prepared for fight. I was curious. What was that pinnacle moment that shifted you? You really want to know something that personal? You're here on Cholt. Yes, I am. Because that is where the cures might be. To the plague. Yes. Why aren't uptake such a monumental task because the blood people's lives depend on it I personally find it evens the field The baker doesn't get the chance for another life. But back to that pinnacle moment of yours. Sometimes what? Does. What was that moment for you? I'll make you a deal. Everyone gets to be included. <laughs> Including you. Including myself. All right. So but I'm curious everyone's you. reasons for being out here. Everyone's reasons for being on or their cares for Chult. It's rather personal to me now. I think I can, I've either stated or it can kind of be gleaned through subtext. I was, I'm part of the Harpers, obviously. That was obvious when I came in here. And now, uh, and I was entrusted to help with this mission. So that's what I'm doing job for you. Hmm, practically. Do you like what they do here? Who does here? The Harpers. In some ways, I do agree with it, but uh, do you think my methods are a bit different in some ways as well? How... Peculiar. I see. And Azaka will say, uh, they heard me. That's why I'm here. 
I feel like I just give Azaka a high five. Like, same yeah. team. <laughs> I'm glad I understand your goals now, and I am on board with this as well. It's, it needs to it needs to be taken care of. Hmm. Good to hear I have someone else of my sorts. And Merrick is obviously not paying attention, and his fingers keep creeping over to the loot again. Merrick? Hmm? You're playing it. Oh, he wants the music. I put down one of my tinkers just on a piece of grass, and it starts playing ambient music, like his Samar meditation music oh, or whatever. That's <laughs> right. You can do that. <laughs> yep. Nice. There you go. You want music? There we go. That's yeah. good. It's, a, it's like a little wind up uh, kind of music yep. box type thing. Yeah, I was joking about the piece of grass. But yeah. I am satisfied, yet humming along completely, again, not in tune to what is happening. Yep, not in tune. Yep. You're just kind of making noises with your mouth. Yep. <laughs> Victor and yourself, what's your cares or reason to jolt? Besides the curse. Sorry, we talked Victor and who else? Victor. Oh, just okay. 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 Um, like I said, to solve this curse. You want to know why I which is becoming a five here instead. Yes. That would be interesting to hear. Oh, you're getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have a nighttime ambient yep. audio. Not exactly <laughs> correct, but sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> um, well, I was a doctor for many years chose to look for those who would not otherwise have access to treatment and what changed it a certain plague brought into the place that I was staying from undead sources. What kind of plague? The kind that the necromantic kind that causes flesh to die. The spores. Huh? My grandfather taught me different th things about diseases as well. We called it the spores here. I see. Well... There was not so much that I could do. I might have formed attachments, but... <laughs> and you're looking to atone now. I'm looking to... Protect someone. Uh. Damn, Sauce got creepy with his voice today. <laughs> Let's see here. Hold on, I'm gonna. I need to do a little whisper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've been entirely truthful this whole time, yes. as far as I can tell. Yes. And not even 
really in a mission, which is, I'm honestly really impressed how you're dealing with this. Because <laughs> you haven't <laughs> lied and you haven't even admitted anything. Because <laughs> you're, you're actually answering his questions. Yes. But just in a very creative way. So, <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, because I can't, I'm thinking like, oh, do like you want me to do? insight check, but you, there's no reason to, the, based on what you've said and how you're answering, you're not lying. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I, I was just kind of looking at everybody's passive pers uh, insight and everything. And it's like, like maybe like, I'll pick up on. You know something but the fact that you're completely answering i can't do that if they i have to leave it to them making an active insight check if they want and nobody has said it so i'm just letting yeah. you know you know if at any time i think it, there's an omission or a lie i might ask for them for an insight check but yeah you're i can't <laughs> <laughs> they would have to actively insight check to get any to know like you know who you're trying to protect or anything like that so yeah just wanted to give you a heads up there so how, okay. that's how i'm kind of monitoring this conversation Got okay it. I'm done. okay sorry please continue so sauce you and ah okay so <laughs> from there ah uh, i see your motivations now. Yeah. Well. They aren't that strange, are they? No, not particularly. At least it's the one I can most appreciate. Merrick. Real quick, I realize I have to do something really quick here, but it, it should just take a quick second. So, uh, Emma. What? Does your character know anybody who has ever been revived? Like close to you, like family members? Um, I think we had stated that um, I did, but it was like a very indirect acquaintance. Okay. So nothing it was uh, because it was when um uh, no I think it was my mom who had been or my mom she's not she's dead now but yeah okay but uh, it'll be currently okay basically um, do you know anybody who's affected by the curse not anybody that they would um personally remember or have any kin to okay so you you know of people who are. Yeah, I would probably know, maybe gotten word of some people that were from the very village I grew up in, or okay. stuff like that. But cool. Or maybe people in the Harpers. Alright, uh, just, yeah, I just, I, I forgot, like, so... No specific. So nobody close to you. Got it. Cool, yep. thank you. Welcome, if you don't think he's gonna be... Sorry. Um, do you know, does your character know anybody who has been revived? Basically, do you know anybody... Does your character know, like, close, any anybody who's suffering from this? Uh, I mean, most of the people I deal with, it's probably going to be either guild captains or old targets that I had to deal with. Okay. So nobody, like, you're really... I mean, most people to. I know are Cholt natives. Yeah. Probably didn't get a whole lot of that opportunity. Okay. So nobody close to you, you know, like... Yeah, but you know, like, of people... Like, you know, yeah. this person did, and then, like, uh, Victor's employer, you, you know them, because they said, okay, cool, that's all I need to know. Cool. All right. Victor, I already know yes. this. Yes, you know someone who is suffering from this trauma. Got it. <laughs> so, answer. Yeah. All right, all right back out. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, Merrick. Stop. Stop. Um, we really didn't go over this, I'm not sure, but um, in your backstory, does your character know anybody who is suffering from this death curse? Someone who has been revived? Um, not personally. Okay. 
I kind of figured, you know, he, he lived alone in the woods and he's just now noticing because things are going weird. Yeah. But, like, he had already lived without being okay. near people for a while. And that, and that makes sense. I just wanted to make sure. He knows sure. something's going on. He doesn't know, like, any real details except, like, you know, some of the animals are acting weird and there's undead and things are just strange. And you, you would have heard, because everybody in the group is talking about this. This is their mission. Yeah. So you understand that, you know, it's anybody who's ever been revived is now slowly, every day, losing one hit point. Okay. To their maximum. And eventually, people are dying from it. Okay. Um, so, it, and that's like, if somebody was revived once, you know, 50 years ago, it affects them. So it's around the world, the entire world everybody who has ever been revived okay and now also if anybody dies revivification spells do not work at all anymore right but you you have knowledge of it but you don't um you know anybody close it's okay. not yeah it's not intimate okay cool that's all i need to check okay. yes ping <laughs> okay i'm back um all right cool sorry just need to check on that real quick um uh sucks you were turning i believe to Merrick? Yes. Okay. Merrick, it's clear to say you are not native to Chult, but you're certainly young enough to have been born here. What brought you to the woods? I lived in the woods for basically my entire adult life and part of childhood. I left because I don't like the city. There's too many people. Azaka will nod at this and kind of... That's... Like, he's, he's a wild man. <laughs> yeah, I, and, well, you're, specifically you'll notice as your comment about it's too many people, I don't like people, she kind of yeah. unconsciously kind of nods at that, like... You can tell that's why she's a guy. She also, not to your level, but she yeah. totally understands what you're saying. <laughs> Perhaps I was wrong, Merrick. Maybe you are a true Cholton. One second. Yeah. Merrick, you actually were born here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're a halfling. Halflings are not native, but... Right. Yeah, you actually yeah. were. So it's up to you if you want to correct them or not, or just let it go. Right. So, okay, I just want to make sure also yeah. that I was remembering that. You, we established you were born here. Yes. So, so that, yeah, that's something you can yeah, keep in your pocket if you want. So, okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I was going to say, he... Merrick obviously does not understand like the gravity of that compliment. <laughs> if that makes sense. That's... Like I'm just like, oh okay. Like I, I'm not picking up on social cues. <laughs> fair. <laughs> totally fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Over my head. Just because it's bugging me and I want everybody just kind of because it's a sharing circle. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was I was wondering was how long me. it was going to take. <laughs> now we got our sharing circle. It is not right. <laughs> Emma Emma was off by themselves there and it was bugging me. <laughs> it was bugging me too. And I, I didn't <laughs> yeah, want to yeah, move it because you put him there. Yeah, but. I feel, yeah, I was, I feel better now. Sorry. <laughs> These are the important things. <laughs> I've been waiting for it this entire time. <laughs> it's, it's been bugging everybody, but nobody's saying it. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Emma over there? <laughs> uh, okay. All right. What would you care to know of me, Victor? Well, currently I know almost nothing. Yes. That was part of the old oath. Oh. Yes, the one that you broke? 
denounced. I got tired of the lies. Some kind of cultural or religious? Uh, no. It was growing up. I was taught one thing. Well, once my grandfather passed, I was taught something different. Something to blend in to the ports better. And as such, I gained this oath of treachery of sorts. People didn't know I was you, Auntie. We've known their reactions. People didn't know I handle poisons. We'd know their distrust. I built myself to be a faceless chef and the occasional tour guide. I see. But you didn't care for that secrecy? <clears throat> I was held to it to find... I was held to it to try and find something else for my family's legacy. But I found that now that I'm here, back in Omo, I want that legacy back. And what legacy is that? When you said... <clears throat> Back in Omo, Orvax and Azaka both are focused on you now. <laughs> As I've said, the Yuan T are here. My family was part of them. Orvex the armor I wear has pulled out a notebook and started to his writing. He's trying to be sly, actually. Yeah. Uh, that old beat. I don't notice yeah, it. You don't notice it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <laughs> Victor. I don't notice it. Yeah, Victor and Merrick, you notice that Orvex has pulled out of a journal and he's starting to write notes. This armor was my great grandfather's. He slew one of the great serpents that carved the rivers here on Schultz. At least so the legend says. It took so long to carve and kill them all that there was hardly any armor skin left. There was only a couple suits made, and this was my grandfather's for having the final blow. We were honored within the Yuan Ti, and when the tribes began to unite, we were still honored because my grandfather was unique when it came to medicines. It is said he was the one to pull the essence of the great serpents and imbued it in every Yuan Ti, providing us the resiliences that we face and have. How true this is, I don't know. It's passed down from generation to generation. But by the time it got to my grandfather, we were working on different cocktails. Darker formulas. And my family was kicked out. This was before I was born. But I was taught much of those same things for the longest of time. Because my grandfather wanted it. When he died, my father and my mother taught me 
to blend in for the ports. But we're here. And I want my family's honor back. What would that take? The blessing of Talona and quite a bit of luck. But perhaps if I find myself a hero enough, I can challenge the leader himself and take him out. My reason for traveling with you, Victor, was a great many different things. First, for my own pocket and troubles. And then because I was curious to know what else is here and hoping that once again, Schult could be remapped. I wished so badly for Schult to be better protected. It's one of the last few places with, what do you outlanders call them? Dinosaurs? Yes, dinosaurs. How many other places are there that hold these creatures? None that I know of. <clears throat> and yet, in the ports, they're held in stocks. They're locked in cages. You wish for them to be free. I wish for Schultz to be free. I wish for the mines to no longer be stripped. I wish for enough ugly, insulting outlanders to return to our lands, make fun of our creatures and our people thinking us simple. I once met a man in the woods who was so determined to fight these people, he was trying to modify, modify creatures to be more defensible. And the strangest of creatures he made. Remember those shark things? That's the sort of things he makes. The man of the wilds. And he is... An outsider? Say that again? And he is an outsider? I don't know what he is. At this point, everybody notices Orbex is... I was about to ask, like, I, I was muted I literally just five seconds before. Yeah. I was about to say, like, Does he need a re-roll? Because he's grabbing out a whole other oh, notebook yeah, yeah. and he's going really fast. Yeah, because what Sauce is saying right now for him is, like, literally gold. He's like, oh, and... Can I, um, can I please uh, do a sleight of hand check to try to grab that out of his hand? Out of Orbex's hand? Yeah, just snatch it. Uh, the, wait, the one he's currently riding in? Uh, it's not the one he put up, put down. Well, it's he's got them both like open on his lap. Um, I would so, like to point out and say, um, so we're gonna have a problem if you continue writing and uh, do not get rid of what you've been writing. It's what I do. I understand that. This is a private forum not to be shared should, should I go no but you should burn what you just wrote I, oh I, I swear I, I will not divulge this to anyone else I, I promise but to, to oh that's an anathema to what I believe I 
I, please don't ask me to do that. I, I, I swear I will. You know. I'm just, I feel like you can see Emma's like hand move. Like they're obvious, like slightly raising their hand as if like grabbing their <laughs> the thing. He is clutching first. these to his chest like infants. Like this is his life. This, this is, he's a historian. This is what he does. Oh, Okay, I didn't. I, I didn't get that part. So Sorry. I thought he was just like a scoundrel that might be selling this no. information. Sorry, quick Sorry. recap for you. Sorry, he was hired by the. He wasn't even a part of the the fighting group. No, he so was, never mind. Yeah, he was hired. Back up. He's not yeah. he's, with he's them. A historian, Azaka. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. He, sorry, should have mentioned that. Yeah, he is um, was hired by the Red Wizards. Basically, okay. because he can speak to. Oh, yeah, he can see. Who will not be sharing. Just a restart on this conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, since I did not know that. Um, yeah, yeah. You will not be sharing that with anybody until we are long gone, correct? Absol absolutely, yes. Uh, just whatever you say, just please. Is that amenable to everybody else? Yeah, uh, I'm going to add maybe he should write it in a different language. Just the the last couple of pages or he will, what shorthand he uses that no one else knows yeah he'll uh he'll actually turn it around and okay. show it to everybody and he's doing the upside down and no, all emma <laughs> you are the only one who can understand it oh he's omu. Yep. omu oh no it's thieves it's actually a combination of both it's, oh, interesting. You're huh. looking at it, Emma, and you see it's Thieves' Camp and Ancient Amuan. So a person would have to know both in order to understand. I, uh, I say, um... But yeah, you, so you, you know, understand this, it completely. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I, I say in a, um, Ancient Amuan um, to him, uh, interesting. And he'll, he'll reply and pull out his other books and show them... And in reply in Ancient Amuan, or actually he'll reply in Thieves' Camp. Or no, save time. Ancient Amuan, because Thieves' Camp takes too long. He'll say, yeah, yeah I, I had to do this because if I didn't put it in code, they wouldn't have paid me. They they just would have read yes. it. And then, so, it's kind of have it. I, Sorry. I can understand I it. That was rude. You were, you were fine. I can understand it. But that is... Because I'm a very rare individual, so. Yes, I uh, very. I we should talk later. Absolutely, I, yes, I would love I your would insight. Be interested in that. But uh, um, again, I apologize because uh, he's ancient. He's not forty. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I will. I will in the future. I will request. I just got excited. He was saying some very interesting things. And I, I needed to get it down. So in the future, you are fine. I will. As long as you do not share it until we are long gone. Absolutely that is all not, and everything I write is in this, in this way. So it takes two very unique individuals, I guess, to read it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, um, and then I turn back and I say, "So I didn't realize we were doing this whole sharing, like full backstory thing. Can I do mine again?" Azaka at that will go. Oh, are we doing the sharing circle again? Because that's, that's what Sauce did, so I, I want to do it now. By all means, I am more curious on your background. Orvex will say, um, we, uh, the, the, you had nothing else, Sauce? As he has his <laughs> notebook, oh, both notebooks open, and he's ready. Like, whatever topic you go with, he's ready. Because so... he had to pull out a separate one, because you were talking <laughs> about Omu, and then you talked about this other thing, so he's like, and he's like, he re he's like ready, but you see he's reaching for maybe a third, just in case. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he's a giant nerd. <laughs> we'll come back to me if any questions arise. Okay, okay. And yeah, he's very observant now. There's, there's good stuff here. <laughs> for the record. What was, what was that, Mary? I was saying for the record. I don't like sharing. You're saying that in character, correct? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. 
I'm still curious to know how you survived jungles for so long. I told you, it's these squirrels. How'd you learn to be a squirrel? You, you see a squirrel. And then you can... I don't understand the question. Four backs ago. Do you think anybody can do that? That's just the thing that all people can do? Turn into animals? Azaka did it. Okay. Huh? <laughs> different. I don't know, not everyone can. Well, please continue though. Right. How'd you. How did you learn to do it? Mayor Azaka. You, Myrick. Azaka, we already discussed Myrick. It, it's gone. Oh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> See, and I just saw you do it. I didn't hear the explanation. So for me, it's like, well. Oh, shit. Okay, for you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. I forgot. I just saw Azaka turn into a giant kitty while they were finding the plant things because she was having a real bad day. Yeah, so just to be clear, we're, you would have instantly known she. Because she did, she did a full transformation. Yeah, she went she, human, she, she went hybrid, and then full tiger. So you would know she's a were tiger. Okay. Which, as far as you know, they rove in packs, always seeking to increase their numbers and or eat people. Cool. Yeah. But so that's, still. That's all you know about were tigers. I've lived in the jungle forever. Yeah. Like, like and, they did it. They yeah. did it differently than I did it, but they did it. I feel like Merrick's got also the vibe like everything eats everything. It's fine. Yeah. So for yep. you, yeah, I get well. Uh, yeah, that would make sense for you. It's like they're not necessarily they just run around and yeah, they're eat. Not hunting. Well, they really. do. Right, but not not in a way that I would need to be worried about. You would know to avoid them. Right, but. Anyways, yeah. So you might be a little concerned. In shifting, you, you just do the thing. Yeah, but she hasn't Different. bitten anybody, and everybody else here seems to be cool with her. So yeah, I mean, like she she never attacked me, so I'm nope. good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just I, yeah. I forgot that was one thing you might not have known. And currently, Orvex does not know that they're a were tiger. Right. So now he's. He's Scary. slightly oh, confused, like, wait, are they yeah. a druid as well? They're thinking <laughs> you're both druids, so he's slightly yeah. confused. So, <laughs> go ahead. You just do it. You just, you just, just do the thing. Yeah, I, uh, I can't do that. <laughs> I don't think any, I think it's just you. That's it. You're, you're a druid, right? And Merrick's like tapping his notebook and going like, this is harder. Cause he doesn't know how to like read or write much. Mm. So like, this is, this is hard. Shifting is not hard. Oh, I, I, uh, I, yeah. And I kind of assume everybody can read and write. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Make an assumption here. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrels don't need it. Unfortunately, many people do not know how to read or write. Orvex is staring at your horn, though. <laughs> just, just, he's, yep. it's like. Okay. I'm not picking up social cues. I'm just. Well, this is that weird <laughs> thing. Like, if you're, like, if you're talking to someone and you, and you look at their forehead, it really fucks people over if you do it. Right. Just but little it does. tip here. <laughs> you want to really fuck with somebody when you're talking to them? Just look at the top of their head and they will, like, what the hell are you. <laughs> <laughs> but he's doing right. that. No, it, no, really, I do that. Um, I oops. do it too. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, um, that's a spectrum thing. Yep. And, yep. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I want to uh, again remind everybody I'm two feet tall, so literally everyone has to look down on me to speak. So. But you're all sitting that's right true. now, so it's kind of right. A little bit equalized. So you, give me a perception check. 
<laughs> or actually, no, this insight. Is, yeah, this is insight. This is a uh, body language. So yeah, insight check. Oh nope. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad at social cues. Yeah, normally, I mean that would your DC was a little higher because again, insight is a lot like social cues, body language, which you don't know. Yeah. Uh, so no, you you and don't pick up I'm on it. Also, I'm gonna blame it, the fact that I'm still very distracted by the loot and like obviously wanting to like jam play because yeah. you got it. You you yeah. got it dialed in now. Yeah, You're I'm ready to jam. Ready to go. I'm totally gonna have to use my tinkers every night to just create white noise. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's yeah. He apologizes for the assumptions and just. You yeah. can't tell. I'd say everybody, everybody else could easily tell just with your passive right. that, yeah. Yeah. that horn. <laughs> so, so uh, can I do my backstory now? By all means. Is that in character? <laughs> I take it that it is. <laughs> can yeah. I tell you my life story now? <laughs> Sauce did it, so. Well, okay. He was actually, to be fair... He was was it a, it at, might not have been his whole thing, but... But it also explains why he was having issues and why he bolted out of the oh. palace area. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Because there was a reason for it. Okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, uh, I keep forgetting. I just want to tell everybody that I I got... When I was really young, I got attacked by um, a T-Rex and was super duper extremely lucky... Because that T-Rex ended up getting sh lightning struck in the head. At the precise moment I was about to be gobbled up. Yeah, they were getting chewed on. Yeah. Hence the missing... Prosthetics. Yeah. If, uh, I don't know if, uh, that, if you heard that or I described that, Merrick. Um, uh, Emma has a prosthetic leg and a prosthetic hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Emma, your, is your armor currently on? Yes. Okay. Do you turn you turn it off when you sleep though, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just sure. um, That's horrifying, Emma. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Zaka will say, "That's amazing that you, sir. I, I've never heard of anyone surviving the T Rex." Yeah, I don't know what God was on my side that day, but honestly, I'm glad I'm alive. As are we. You are a great addition to the group. Yes. So, where did you start, Emma? Um, it was a, it's a small village uh, near Snapping Turtle Bay. That's the south side of the island. West. Yes. No, no, yeah. It's near. It's near the um, uh, the turtle that uh, has all those gems. I've actually seen it from far away. What? We had that rumor. Remember? Yep. There was With a the, rumor, the, which would have been transferred. I don't know the rumor. Well, he, everybody. No, we talked about yeah. a lot of things of what we were doing when we were in. Um, you, you don't have them written down, but your character was told of them. Um, it's he, like that was at the beginning of the game. Yeah. I came in at the... Yeah, but, yeah, but then we talked they, about they, it at... Um... Yeah, they they want to recap on it, is what right. they're saying. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, because during the, the travels when you were here, they have been mentioning, oh, yeah, we heard this rumor, this rumor. So we, we okay, made sure gotcha. that the characters who, you know, had it... Because right now, gotcha. Victor was be, would be the only one. But he's been, you know, refreshing like this. This rumor, okay. like, especially when you guys were uh, deciding on places to go. So it's real what the turtle yeah uh azaka will even perk up at this and say i i th i always i've always thought it was a rumor a tale of, uh, i honestly might have been have been the one that started that rumor going around in the port huh. so it's a rumor oh i've heard the other people saying it and you guys said that you heard it in the port, so. Yeah, but some of you did. Giant beast covered in gems and gold and. It's a turtle. It's giant. Yeah. 
we kind of steered clear of it. It's dangerous. So, yeah. oh. Don't want to lose my other leg. Ajatu will say, Oh. It's not the dragon. That's too far south for the dragon turtle. Is there more than one? Exactly how big is this turtle you saw? Like, How big is it? It's a giant turtle. It's so uh, gargantuan. Well, no, it would be uh, large or huge. And you said there was a name, and you gave that to me when we talked about that. I forgot yeah. what it was. Uh, you're gonna make me look this up. I have it in my note page, but that's on a. I have to open up a whole other okay, thing I to have open to that up too. Book. So how how about I look for one thing, and you you look for that while other people. <laughs> Uh, I've got to open up one note that isn't even signed in. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, it's... Uh, yeah, I think it had a name. I forgot. It's fine. It yeah. doesn't matter. I relay the name whenever we figure it out. And Azaka will say, well, that's not the protector of the bay. That's different. The protector of the bay is gargantuan. It's, it's a moving island. Yeah. Have I seen that, too? Because I was around that area. Uh, I might not have been there. Have you ever traveled uh, out of port by boat? Um, yes. Yeah, you probably would have to get down to Turtle Bay. Because I was in the port. Armag. Hun What's what? Armag. Armag is is the, the yeah. Turtle Bay. Okay. okay. Right? Yes. That's not the def That's not the protector of the port. That's a different one. Yep. Because you, you would know then, and Azaka knows, that there is a dragon turtle that protects the port. And any ships entering or leaving must pay tribute oh, to cool. it. But she is just making the distinction that, okay, it's... She thought maybe people were talking about it, the protector of the port. This is further south and not the same. Yeah, um, I, uh, I say, yeah, it's not the same. I've seen them, too. I was on a ship that I did a tribute. Uh, yeah. Um, I anyway, that's all water. I wanted. What? I can't believe you'd go in the water. I don't particularly like being immersed in it, but, uh, I kind of had to. It didn't have a choice. Learned some good skills, too, so it was worth my while. That's how I learned to sail. So what brought you to the Harpers, then? Um, after this uh, attack with the T-Rex, I was seven. Very young. Um, I was, was crippled. And my mind, as you know pretty keen um came up i ended up coming up with the idea for and i uh point to my armor as a whole but uh i lived in a poor, poor family and didn't have anywhere near the amount of money that i would need to build such a contraption so um i was contacted after putting or asking around um this is, of course, a few years later. Um, if uh, for anybody that might be able to invest. Um, and the Harpers reached out and were able to help me become who I am today. Hmm. Oh, by the way, my mom was the one that taught me uh, that language. That's another thing. She also yeah, gave no. me this. She also gave me this, and I'm pointing my thing. It's an antique. Thing? Uh, the the bracelet. Bracer. Oh, the armor? Uh, oh. the bra It's part of the armor. I in integrated it into it. Right. It's like a... I'm counting as it doesn't really have an extra thing, but it's like it's ancient Amun like themed. Okay, and that's your... That's oh, my that's lightning launcher. No, it's a lightning launcher. Right, got it, sorry. It's just like a ancient, like, technology type of thing, bracer. Yeah, sorry, quick 
Toss, what did you say the name of the the giant turtle was? Armag. A R E M A G. That's actually um, the protector. That's the dragon turtle. Oh. King Toba is. Gotcha. To yeah, sorry, correction there. Armag is the dragon turtle, Snapping Turtle Bay. Would know. Yeah, I remember. I was King Toba. King Toba. I, I was like, that doesn't sound right, but I'm going to say it's okay for you. It is. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. It's an uh, that's unusually about it. large Snapping Turtle. Like huge, yeah. not gargantuan, but huge. Yes, I was. Um, I might as well share this. Um, the reason why I wasn't originally assigned to this endeavor is because uh, my mother had died from the specific curse that we were fighting. Very sorry to hear that. So after I uh, dealt with that, I um, was hired. Hmm. This is another important information of my motivation of getting rid of this plague. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Victor. Yes. Why do you wear the mask? feel like he's just going to continue to ask this question every five seconds. Good day. <laughs> because it reminds me what I'm doing and why am I, why am I, why I am doing it. It's a strange and peculiar symbol. Why a plague mask? What you would be able to infer. I started out because of a plague. And I am currently fighting one. How interesting that our lives meet with such a symbol. Is it? It is. For that's the very thing my grandfather taught. What exactly did your grandfather teach? Illness. Sickness. He was a true plague doctor. He knew how to cure our people, but he also know how, knew how to make them ill. That's why the king threw him out. I would one want to make people ill. I'm sorry, what was that? That was really muted, Victor. I couldn't hear. Why would one want to make someone ill? Because sometimes weakening your opponent to bring them down is one of the best ways to hamstring a target. One of the best Only ways two. to win a fight is to not fight by his hand, and I can see if the person is already dead and poisoned, it makes it a lot easier um, for sharp hearts. That's true. Too. <laughs> I have a question uh, okay. for um, Orvex. Do you even have any weapons? Uh, yeah, you'll notice he's got he's got two short swords and a hand crossbow. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's he's a nerd, but he, <laughs> I have he weapons. Knew I'm a nerd. I coming. was yeah, he knew where he was going. He's an old man. I just wasn't yeah. sure. He's seen some shit. He he knows, and um, being that you, he's riding in thieves' camp. You can, Emma. You can probably make some assumptions on some of his capabilities and yes. his comment um, on it's easier if they're already dead to win the fight <laughs> yeah but yet illness is so difficult to control uh, hey doctor hey uh victor did you get my uh whisper in chat 
Oh, it. <laughs> it said it was from the characters, so that I got confused. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, but yeah, go, go ahead and continue. Sorry, uh, Emma, you were... actually I forgot who Emma asked question, but I forgot who was talking. Um, I was yeah, just I was... I was just asking um okay. if they had weapons. That was it. Yes, you can see he does have two shorts. On um, but I was uh. I was gonna actually add something to that. Oh. Uh, well, they're not talking in Ancient Amu, and I'm like mentioning to him while they're taught other things are happening. I'm just telling him about stuff that like the interesting stuff that we found in um, the place where that uh, Medusa was. Oh, uh, Nangalore. Yeah, tell him about Nangalore. Okay. Just all the interesting stuff we oh. found there. And... You do that, and his you can see his brain splitting in half because that's whoa that's good information but he's also trying to pay attention to everybody else so it's almost like he's wanting to write with both hands so he's like i feel like i realize that yeah. and then i just stop and say i'll talk to you later yeah he starts kind of twitching a little bit and his head's going back and forth <laughs> it's, it's not just two conversations it's two conversations in two different languages about two very different things <laughs> so he's well they're the same language but they're two of them He's also like pulling reference books out of nowhere. Yeah, so like he's like he's by now I'd say he's got five or six books around <laughs> him, guy. and he's just like, huh, yeah, oh, oh, wait, oh, oh, oh sh and he's really <laughs> stressing right now. He's trying to get all of this because this is all amazing information. I, I tell him I'll, I'll talk to you later. About oh, it. Yes, please, thank you. Yes. <laughs> it could so easily spread to someone not in the fight. Sometimes that's the beauty. It's all yes. even. Joan doesn't have prejudice. There is no Yuanti versus humans or anything else. And as my grandfather found, sometimes there's ways to keep it outward. To be fair, it helps if you're immune to diseases to have that point of view that it's all okay. <laughs> Which is what my grandfather worked on. Oh. To immunize against the diseases that he wanted so everyone here would be fine. But then doesn't that contradict your previous statement? They're not caring where you come from or who you are. I believe Schultz deserves protecting. My grandfather believed the Wanti worth protecting. But he would send illness to everyone else. I believe what he's saying is to those who are trying to trespass on short yeah. yeah it is a fine distinction but he's not spreading disease he's just making some immune. that was my grandfather's idea at least i'm not sure i care to go that far but i at least say, understood his care very promising idea should it not be shared with everyone? It would go to all native to Chult. It was my grandfather's choice. And anyone who entered here in his dying days, anyone who came would find illness. They could be fixed before they entered, but they would be checked and registered. Chult is one of the few wild places left. The only place with your dinosaurs. Make it a sanctuary, he told me. I ignored that for so long. Because he was part of our old family. I understand the idea conserving this place. What do you mean by old family? He was part of the yuan -Ti. But my father and my mother were exiled. 
with him. And we started new. And I have such, another. They were the new. And when I was born, I was too. Nice. I have another question for you that just uh, popped into my brain. Um, what happened with that mirror? That uh, not mirror. Um, uh, that canvas that you pulled your armor out of after putting your blood on it. That would have been my grandfather's armor. Great, great grandfather's armor. From the great serpents. Oh, are you asking what happened to this, the canvas? No, I'm asking why he did that. <laughs> why did that work like that? Because it's... Why did it specifically work for him? It's because bloodline. It was the bloodline. I was assuming that case, yes, but... Yes. More like what is special about his blood? If I get that, that it is the the armor was made made specifically for his grandfather and can only be oh. worn by his blood. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So that I thought it was it. like there might be some history here, like specific to like Jolt, or well, I don't know. It, it is. Well, yeah, but it, it, I mean, it's not all. Of I was Jolt, wondering but a big if you knew the history. Is, yeah, this is kind of a lore-wise. Yeah. Basically, he's saying his family used to be honored and revered oh. among the Yuanti, but then they got cast out. That makes sense. I was just mostly inquiring about if he knew the history of that great grand, great 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 whatever grandfather. Yeah, yeah what, he was just talking that, about that this earlier. Is what this whole thing is, but he's been describing his. His story. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So... I find that there is some element of truth to illness being equal. That because is what I grew up on. It does affect everyone, like suffering in general. However, like all suffering, it seems to affect some people far more than others. And it's not always for the right reasons. Of that, I don't disagree. As I said, my grandfather was the one who wanted to neutralize disease for our people while still protecting the island with the disease. I am simply re-acknowledging my family's heritage. While I can support some of what he did, I cannot support others. I can't fault you for that. It's, for I find it the same. It, it's getting pretty late now. It's full night time. Um, at this point, Orvex will kind of because Imbok has just been sitting here the whole time. And he's kind of... And Orvax, you've noticed, like, during the travel here, the four hours, he's been trying to communicate. Like, he speaks... Orvax speaks grung, but it's, like, conversational grung. It's yeah. not, you know, proficient. But even yeah. that is amazing, because nobody speaks that language. Yeah. He'll, like, kind of side-eye, and he'll start to say something, and then, just in case, he'll look at Emma, and then ancient... No, and thieves can't will say, oh, um, I don't think Imbok has money. Or they might, but I think he's, he just didn't want to be killed by you guys. <laughs> I mean, that's the impression I'm getting. He's, he keeps saying, you know, lots of money, take me home, don't keep me safe. He's not coming out and, oh, sorry. He's not coming out and saying, you know, don't kill me, but I, I think that's his intent, is to just not die, because tell, tell him he we watched won't. you murder all of these things, and you did save his life, but he's, you know, you killed a lot of things quickly. <laughs> that um, was unfortunate. I, he's saying this in Thieves' Camp. Yes. So, oh, let's right. Because he, right, he right. doesn't want, he clearly doesn't want Inbox to know Yeah. what he's saying, so he's trying out, like, several levels of um, so what I'm going to respond in the same language. Um, so, uh, just let him know we will not kill him. 
uh, we just we were trying to save him. We saw that he was in danger, and we thought, why not? Oh yes, I understand. It's just uh, apparently you are taking him home, which is clear across the other side of the city, in a, in the hopes of a reward. I don't know if there actually will be a reward. Uh, he doesn't seem to be malicious. It's just I think desperate. I will, I will, um, I will relay to the group in common, um, our frog friend over here, or Grung, um, does not seem to have a payment for us, but we could take him over, I feel like, why not? We're probably heading that way anyway. I was not motivated, motivated by the money. I wasn't particularly either. But, again, um, it is a complete backtrack and opposite, like... I showed you, it's the opposite side of the map from where you guys are now. Yes, we will have to go back there for other temples, though. And maybe we could uh, escape from the city there, if need be. Head that way on our way out. And I uh, I tell to uh, or Orvec, tell him we will be doing that on our way out, and if anything happens... No. Hmm? What? We're going to take him there when we have the chance. Okay. Well, if we have the chance. If not, we take him on the way out. So he's just staying with us until we go there. Tell he should if be we home by chance. morning. Oh, okay. By late afternoon. <laughs> what do you want me to tell him that? Okay. Okay. I guess. He, he will chat and he'll croak at him for a little bit. <laughs> and ribbit, 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 yeah, ribbit. And Mbok will look at him and kind of nod. So, uh, Orvax will go, oh, This has been great, but good night. And he'll follow. He's got three levels of exhaustion <laughs> and two hit points. Yeah. His interest, like, Pretty his surprised. nerd drive has powered him through, but at this point, it's been like way past his bedtime. Like, three days past <laughs> his bedtime. So he literally like, good night. And he just, he was just kind of sitting, he's sitting on the ground and just kind of to the left, just like, um, good night. I and feel like he has yeah, it put his journals away. So no. I just tuck him in his bag. No, he just, I, just I just tuck just him in his bag. I just over and check on him to make sure he's okay. And then uh, go back. I th yeah, he's, he, I think you checked that you like bandit, did some superficial yeah. stuff. So. Yeah, but he just like killed over it. Oh yeah, yeah, you, yeah, definitely. You go over. His Check his bandages and everything, make sure he's good, yeah. But yeah, he is currently... Do we want to do some sort of watch for sleep? Oh, yes. <sighs> yes. Okay, so, what order? So, Sauce? I go fourth. That's your normal fourth, okay. And then I think Victor, I'll go first. first. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I'll go Victor second. Said first. Victor said, so, uh, I didn't hear that. Okay. I'll do dark. second. Okay, no problem. Victor and then Emma. Uh, second. Yeah, and then Merrick, you wanna you want the third? Sure. Okay. And then. But also, I I blink on the loot a couple more times. Like tuning or actual like. <laughs> like just blink blink. Okay, so like strumming a bit, like, yep, yep, yep. there it is. I and get my hand or my music box ready to turn on the white noise. So, yeah, they uh, give it a couple strums, and, it's, and they nod, and Eric nods. It's like, all right, it's there. I got it. It is, <laughs> blank, 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 blank. It, it, yeah, not it's, even, it's, it's nowhere it's near. accidentally tuned. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah it, nope, it's. No, it's not. It's not one. God note damn! I two. just want to like just just grab it, to toot it. That's all I want to do. Yeah, but Merrick, it's dialed in. It's yeah. You, you nailed it. Good to go. Yeah. So if you want to, you know, offer anybody a bedtime lullaby. Yeah, I did ask. I did ask earlier. Yeah. But... And I think all of us just respond with straight up no. Yeah, I believe everybody shrieked no, absolutely not, dear God, no. <laughs> yes. Or something along those lines, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should um, simply get some rest, man. Mm, fine. Okay. I have a, a quick question. Yes. 
Do I believe I can ferment this Rydath? I'm sorry. Ferment what? The Rydath. I don't... What is... It was the uh, the thing, the plants in the um, place that uh, we oh. went with the organ, and I got that. I still have one of those, and it's like a big thing. Could I shove it into a bottle and ferment it? Oh, I don't even remember what that is. Do you have the... I want to make alcohol for some reason. Do you have... Oh, uh... Do you, do wait, you want my, Which my... one was it? The Rydath. Rydath. It's 2d4 temp HP. When I eat it. Oh, you mean those roots and stuff yeah, back yeah. in Mangalore? Yeah, yeah. I'm just yep. I'm oh. trying to find it. I, uh, um, oh, it was go. just like a root. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, Ryath root. Okay, yes. Ryath root. Um, um, yeah, I was, I mean, it's a, it's a root right now, but I can say. Chop it up, shove it in somewhere. It would take some time well i could get it started because that's say, like a um i'll say yeah. is it's just chopping it up putting water in it and then just leaving like it leaving it for a it month or... yeah well, yeah i know but yeah i will say you can if you want to like basically right now it's a solid form if you want yeah. you can spend uh this evening hour stuff to turn it yeah. Into a While liquid. we were chatting, I'm just doing that. Yeah. Well, it'll be. It's not going to be an hour. It'll be that, and then it'll okay. be like four hours. Because so I'll say, by the by, your end of your watch, it'll be done. Well, I need to rest. Well. Well, no. You what? Basically, what you're doing, you're putting in a little thing, and you're putting it next to the fire, so it, it's not cooking. Yeah. It's just kind of steeping a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. So That's basically, fine. what you'll be able to do, it's kind of like. You're making a tea kind of thing. Oh, cool! So it's just it, it takes a while, and then you can take the roots out, and you'll it'll be a liquid. Nice. The roots are I like the roots are then you know used up, but then you'll have uh, you have to have a vial or a jar, an empty vial. Or um. Can I use my if I smush it up real close? Could I use my water skin? Nope. Oh yeah. It's kind of steep. So if you don't have either of those, or uh, does anybody have like an herbalism kit? I do. Or, okay. I will um, ask. Does anybody have some sort of jar or something I could do For with something what you with? Have, they're small, so would it be more of a vial? Well, I could mo make more than one. I have a few vials. I have vials. Can I just well. get like three? Well, how many of the roots did you get? I only got one. Well, then you get one vial. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I yeah. thought it was, if it could fit into a jar, then. No, no, it's this, I mean, it would be diluted then, and then it would be, you okay. know, it would be divided by however many bottles you made. I'll do that. Uh, and I'll reach into my pack and... Clinking around about like twenty freaking vials, I pull out one. Oh, that's right. You did. You actually. Spent, I have vials. Yeah, you actually had a point to buy a bunch. So yeah, you. So, okay. I uh, I grab that and I do that. And okay. the fire. So um, there is. Hold on here. I'm gonna make this visible to everybody. Okay. So there is a handout with um these. Uh, the flora and fauna, which... Oh, damn, that's worth 50 GP. <laughs> yeah. If you damn, sell got it, the good then, one. You know, they all, and, and you guys all got different stuff, I believe, whoever was yeah. there. So I think, Sauce, you got the Zabu, the bow mushrooms, I think. Uh, well, I or have... you had that before, from before? I've had that before. I got wild root. Wild root, okay. Um, I got the cinder berries. <coughs> okay. So, Jesus, sauce, you, like, yeah, fuck poison. Whatever. You have so many <coughs> ways to get rid of poison now. And I hate you. I hate you all, but, you know, equally. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, because I know, uh, I think everybody got something because everybody was searching. So, yeah. that's what they actually do. So, yeah, um, Emma, you can, you know, you put it 
it, you know, you cover it in so, you know, the rocks, and so it's there. So after a few hours of steeping, um, it will be yeah, a Yeah, first thing I'll do with my watch is grab that. Okay. So, oh, man, who was the last one to do a roll? I think it was Matt. I need to, uh, no, it was me. Because I remember, I asked ages, for advantage. No, for the evening, I think... It was me because I asked to roll yeah. for advantage and I got a 16 and a three. And then you tried to say, oh, I'm going to count it as a 19. I said, no, no, no. The point was I'm rolling advantage. You don't get Can to I add do it? them. I haven't done it in a while, but I also haven't done it in a lot. did roll. I do remember. Yeah. At the end of the session, I had you roll. But yeah. Okay. So that's right. There was nothing going on. So it was a 16. And then you wound up saying that we're in omu so it's a totally different roll table or encounter oh, yeah table. the encounter table is different okay. so right hold on yes yeah okay you're welcome hold on yeah going we're back did the roll. okay it was hold on okay. um yeah i wrote yeah you rolled two d20s there it is yeah 16 and a three okay so, oh yeah, yeah. So, sixteen and a three. But wait, wait. You rolled. You rolled a sixteen. I rolled a sixteen and I rolled a three. Okay. Because so, we are gonna roll with advantage. Right. So in this situation, the 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 extra would actually reduce. So it was nothing. So okay, um, but uh, I do. I'm gonna. I gotta do a okay. So okay. Um, I gotta do something here. Sorry. So everybody's going to sleep. Dang it. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Um. Where is Oh, sorry. Um. <laughs> the dogs are they're getting even closer. <laughs> they're coming for you. Where, where? Those are just my bad dogs, sorry. <laughs> oh, I can't spell. I should learn to do that at some point. Okay. Uh, Sorry, jeez. Um, okay. Oh no. Okay. So, um, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, Merrick, you can hear me. Yep. Okay. So during your watch. Um, oh, quick cool question. Do you, uh, for your watch, do you pick a spot and kind of keep an eye on it, or do you do like a patrol for your, during your uh, watch? There's not really anything to patrol, so I think yeah. I would probably like occasionally go over to the bridge and look across it. Okay. And then go closer to the fire again. Okay, so. so, so... Not a huge patrol, just a check. All right, so yeah, not a constant moving thing like every 15 minutes or so, probably get up, look around, yeah. and come back. Okay, so on one of the times you come back, you see Imbok, he rolled the one on his toe, uh, clearly attempting, like he's doing the cartoon, like tiptoe thing, like okay. going <laughs> to leave. Like he's. He's not, he's just slowly working his way towards the bridge. He's clearly just leaving. Okay. Do you... uh, yeah, like, what the fuck, dude? What are you doing? Do you actually, like, go up to him and stop him? Like, yeah, uh, like, I'm, I'm watching him for a minute. Does he have all his stuff with him? Yeah, did... he had, I mean, he didn't have much to do. He's just got here. Yeah. He didn't take anything. It's just... Yeah, okay. He, he's obviously packed up. Yeah, you actually, I'll say, you um, you actually sat there, watched him, like, he gets up, he looks around, 
and like literally like starts tiptoeing away like towards the bridge to leave so um i'm gonna say don't need a you know an insight check he he's okay. he's done, it's not yeah. like and like orbic said he doesn't seem malicious it's just he's wants to get home <laughs> okay so, uh the mm. Mm. so knowing it's... that would you like watching this like yeah he rolled a one which he really sucks because he's proficient in stealth right. <laughs> <laughs> um can i like because i was the one who was who was like miming with him yeah before uh -huh. So, like, obviously, the the cross species isn't great, but you know, like, yeah. like I make sure he sees that I can see him. Okay. Like he's not being sneaky, and I'm just like, what, what, you know, like shrug. Where yeah, you, you can like he's like look like look yeah. around, and he's like sneaking away. You can literally walk up next to him and like go, what the fuck? Like, yeah, what are you doing? And then he'll like look at you and go look around and like go oh uh grab his car like i gotta pee <laughs> he like goes over he like he was heading like clearly straight here then he like right. hooks over here instead okay and he's like just eh, just a minute and goes over like behind the rock okay and then comes back and lays back down okay <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm not getting in his way. Like, I'm not threatening. Yeah. I'm just like, like, what? Okay. Yeah, you... and he, he lays back down. Okay. <laughs> his eyes are open, though. He's like... Yeah, like, he's watching me now, and I'm just, yeah. like, watching him. Like, what? And then okay. he notices that, so he'll close his eyes. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'm right. not getting in his way, but also, like, there's no way to communicate. If he just lays back down, I'm like, oh, all right. Okay, okay. so... That's what happened during your watch. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Nobody seemed uh, to be interested. And then, okay, yeah. Emma. I am interested. You go. I am too. Uh, it, uh, you, uh, you need to. You wake up Sauce at the end of your watch. Uh, just got to hear us. How do you wake him up? Um. This is. I just oh, tap no, like Emma, this. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I did that wrong. I'm, oh, I did that totally wrong. Oh my god. I'm yeah, second. Yeah, I was mistake first. Oh, darn, wait, what did I roll? I rolled, yeah, no, I did. It's fine. Go oh ahead and say god. that Emma took first. Character versus player, Emma. Uh, ha, ha. Oh, I was supposed to be, sorry. Actually, it was supposed to be character, Emma. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, yeah, yeah, I'll wake up soft. Um, I just go up and I just, like, poke his shoulder with my boot. Just kind of. Oh no! Wait, I didn't. No, I'm. Jeez, I'm sorry. I did do that right. Merit. Okay. You wake up. So I did do it right. I'm sorry. It's just, it gets a little confusing when a character and a player have the same name. I am... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, my fault. My fault. I apologize. I did do it right. So merit. I did offer that that my full name is Emmeline. Technically, my characters, but I might have to start calling you that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys. You're um, fine. So yes, it's just a shorthand. Um, so so it's what... Merrick. How do you wake up, Sauce? Oh, never mind. Uh, I I tell him like I talk to him. Okay. Do Do you mention anything or just like hey, wake up, to your, your shift? Um. Yeah, kind of. I I I'm making eyes at the girl, like just you know, watch him, maybe quietly not trying to draw attention to it yeah. so sauce that's what uh merrick says to you i got it right small <laughs> <laughs> uh, victories all the chaos <coughs> um he's all wind up getting up um and Basically, I start making my way kind of towards the little chef's area, getting a few things set and prepared um, back and forth between kind of 
giving a, a watch and getting breakfast set for the morning. Oh, oh my oh. god. Um, open. Wolves are upon us. Um. Asshole climbs under my desk chair and does that. Okay. <sighs> um. So, Sauce, yeah, you, um, you get up and you go over to get your camp, uh, your, your, uh, cooking stuff set up, um, and, um, it, uh, becomes daylight, so as you, oh, actually, as you are setting up your kitchen stuff, um, you hear, everybody hears, an alarm go off. Uh, because, Emma, it, you always set up mm -hmm. alarm. Yep. And I figure, because you got, because we did this last time, you yeah. set up your alarm at the, over here, at the, all the way at south, you just put it across there, because that's the only way something can get in is from clear over there. Okay. So, but it was there, and about halfway, like halfway through your time sauce, the alarm goes off. Everybody hears it. Yep. Yep. Bolting up. Yep. What's going on? What is it? I'd like to do a perception check, please. Okay. As I bolt up as well. As you sit up. Without even having to make a roll, doing a quick head count, the drone is gone. Where did the, where did he go? Um, and I'm gonna say to th this is this is far enough in. Everybody got a long rest, just to be clear, real quick. But yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah. I have a question for you, Mr. DM. Yes. yes. Would the sea invisibility spell show stealth creatures? No. no you it, see invisible yes, creatures. Things that are, yeah. Um, well, you said you want to do a perception check, so. Oh, well, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, without rolling, you can tell they're not there. Quick head count. Where's the grung? Um, uh, he was sleeping right over there. Orvex will sit up and go oh, check for his, his notebooks and I'm gonna look across the bridge. Okay. Um, you see a I'm gonna say crossing over the never mind. Alarm does not go off. Sorry. Uh, I have to assume when you set alarm your party members are excluded from yep. the alarm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, never mind. Everybody's asleep. I wouldn't. He I, would have been there. So I'm yeah. sorry, guys. I forgot. That's fine. Yep. Um, because he's a he was a member of your party, and you you always said that your party members won't trigger. So, you guys wake up in the morning, and he is not there. Mm. Like to do a perception check, please. Uh, okay. Go ahead and roll that. And Damn. What exactly are you looking for? I'm kind of just skimming to see if the if he's if I can see him across like anywhere over here, like anywhere. Uh, oh no, he's 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 gone. Long gone. Or uh, nowhere visible for you that you can tell. Okay. Um, uh, well, I guess go ahead and check your stuff, guys. Uh, Make sure it's all there. Damn. Uh, Azaka kind of she looks around at the ground and like it'll say his foot I can't tell we, we walked around a lot there's a lot of muddled tracks here I can't tell where he went or you know I'm sorry 
Okay. Anybody else got an eye on him? Survival check, by the way. They were trying to track. Yes. Nah. I assume that he tried to go home on his own. Yes. Do you take anything with him? Um, he was, he was talking about uh money a lot. So. He. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Maybe he was me meeting percept, our money. If you want to check, give me a perception check to see if uh, everything you have. Should they do an investigation? Um, because like actually going through it. Oh yeah, since you're actively doing this, I would say, well, yeah. Um, this one I'll let you choose: uh, investigate, like dig, or just kind of look around, like check your stuff. You can choose perception or investigation. I'm feeling generous because I screwed up a few times. Okay, um, let's see, who else? Mara. And... Who else? Oops, I whispered that. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Um, oh, uh, okay, so... As far as you guys can tell, everybody can tell, um... No, everything you have, uh, is still there. Um, actually, real quick, because of that 20 perception, as you're looking around and checking, you, oops, wait, this is Merrick? This is Merrick. Oh, shit, sorry, I was supposed to be talking to Victor, sorry. God damn it. <laughs> sorry, wrong person, Victor. Um, mm -hmm. With that 20, as you're checking, like, do I have everything, you look at your hand, and you have a lot of scars. I mean, a lot. Yes. But with a 20, you're looking at your hand and it's like, there's like, there was a, you had a scratch. It was like, it was like some, something, something clawed you on your hand. It was like four claws. It was, you know, there, it was a four lines all together. You mm -hmm. look in your hand and you notice no, 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 that's not right. Your blood rights, um, you usually do them like on your arm, right? Or is it your hand? Uh, hand or arm. Okay. So, and you kind of, it's the same motion. You just don't go over it. So they're all kind of in a line and it's almost something you can count. Mm -hmm. And you look and you swear like, there's a, yeah, that's weird. But like, you could have sworn, no, there was a, one of your scars was there from, it's gone. That's weird. Yeah, it's like, huh. That's it, just, because you rolled, that? you got a 20. You do notice that, that one of your right, specifically, because I think you have scars from other things too. Yeah. But one of the scars from casting your right, He's gone. Okay. So, oh, just a second. That's just a second. All right. Okay. So, all right. Uh, everybody wakes up in the morning. Um, and so, long rest. Everybody heals. Um, so, four of that. Um, Oops, go ahead. Go ahead. As this is happening, I would like to cast aid on okay. Victor. Merrick and Sauce. Okay. So and I'm going to describe how this works, how this looks. Oh, please do. Yes. Um. So th it's going to actually be alarming for a second, because I uh, uh my um uh thing kind of my um the like protruding like it's kind of like the you know the Tesla coils but like a mini ver version okay. comes out and then it just I don't aim it at him but I aim it like near the ground and then just three small thin like bands of looks like more like plasma than lightning just shoot towards each of them all right and then uh it, that you just feel like invigorating energy uh, is this uh at uh is this upcast or just first level i only have no it's a second level spell oh, so, and i okay. only have second level all so. Right, so it's five right yep yeah okay so uh you guys add five to your maximum and uh normal so, and that's eight hours, if I'm not mistaken? Yes. Okay. 
So uh, you do add it to your normal as well, your regular, or you yep. add on the extra HP. Too. Yeah, your maximum hit points and, and your current. And current. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, okay, so yeah, uh, you got go ahead and mark that off. Um, and then, so we're gonna do um, insect repellent if you have it yep. and you're using it. Okay, and then I'm assuming a sauce. You're uh, cooking up some breakfast. Sous chef, yep. please. Okay. Sous chef, please. So this so will advantage. be yep with advantage. And no, I'm not gonna do it. Three, four, five, six. All right, stand by. Oh. I'm gonna figure something else out real quick. All right, and then my oh. cook's utensils. And you said advantage, so yes, let's do that. Yes, you have uh, uh, Emma. No one's gonna give me some guidance. Nobody <laughs> has guidance. Oh right. wait, uh, Victor might have it. Victor might. Uh, oh, technically, Merrick might, and then I could Emma get it, but it would use one of my abilities that I have once a day. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want to use it. And, and you're but actually I, already assist. You're getting. I couldn't do it. I understand that. I anyway, mean, it's just but, you, know, it's, you, you could, but it's a personal thing of mine. That, like, yeah. That's too much. Merrick, did you say okay. something? I said, "What are you asking for?" Uh, there's a cantrip called Guidance. Oh, okay. It will add, give someone a, a D4 to a skill check. But, hey, a 20. Yeah. So, just a D4. So, everybody's temporary hit points are down to zero. As of right now. Well, we get four. Yeah, everybody gets four. Still something. What are you using to cook this sauce? What 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 stuff? Oh, yeah. are you? I would like to tell you. We we still have uh, some of the tiger left. Oh. <laughs> Zaka <laughs> takes it. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I just I pat her back the whole time. It, it tastes so good. It, oh. Okay, so let's see. How much do I have to do as now? As long as you're not a tiger, while well, you're doing it. It's okay. For what? 14. Food. 12 or 14. Oh, uh, so 2, oh, hold on, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12. Yeah, 12. So yeah, that was that was 12 pounds of food. So you got your food, you got that. <coughs> uh, uh, spell, uh, spell casters, uh, you can set your uh, spell list, I think. It's everyone but me. Yeah, everybody, yeah. Everybody it's literally yeah. everyone but me. I know, me. it's like, it's everybody but one. It was either Victor <laughs> or Sauce. It's like, no, it's Sauce. It's Sauce. You're the only one that can't yep. set your morning spells. So, okay. So, uh, yeah, Inbook is gone. And Orvex will say, yeah, I think you just wanted to get home. That's fine. And there was no money. I'm sorry. I, I really <laughs> don't think he... I mean, it's all right. I think he is the son of the king, like he said, but apparently he's got like over a hundred kids, so. Well, that definitely seems like it takes a lot of time, so. Yeah, yeah. So, so what's the plan for today? Um, he's, he's feeling, he's looking much better. He's. Back to full hit points. He's not at. He still has guidance. two points of exhaustion. But um, I think. Oh god, I forgot what you, what two points will do. Uh, two points of exhaustion. I think his skill checks are at disadvantage. He has half speed. I thought that was three. I think that's Hold on. two. Rules warrior. Because it's disadvantage on attack oh, rolls. For oh yeah, you're right. Speed halves. So yeah, he's yeah. disadvantage on ability and his speed is half. So, in order for him to keep up with you guys, you guys will have to travel at half speed, which means so it's regular speed, speed with because because uh, we forgot about Merrick's uh, ability to just zip around the city. So, I'm a squirrel. And you personally have even faster travel through. Uh, no, we actually won't. At least for not the first hour. Why? I'm casting Long Strider on him. Oh, Bonus action dash. So he's equal to us now. And he gets another. It doesn't increase. 
their speed, or is it just bonus action? It's bonus action dash. Okay, okay. So, all right. So, yeah. Oh, fuck. Of course. Oh, I apologize. Right. I meant expeditious retreat. I got the wrong thing. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I, I know what you meant. I knew yeah. the spell you were talking about. the wrong thing. Long Strider is the one that gives you 10 more feet, I think. I, I didn't want that one. I wanted the expeditious yeah, retreat. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. just so, so similar spells. Yeah, no problem. They're, they're both movement. So, okay. Um... So yeah, you uh, have the day here. I'm gonna move you guys to the uh, city map so you guys can e more easily um, plan your day because we do not have to take inbox back. So you guys are down at the south here. Um, so what would you like to do? <coughs> Um, I am casting Pass Without Trace. All right. Okay, so we're stealthing. All right, so... I'm assuming we're leaving. Yes. yes. I think we're going to the lava thing. Do we have a plan for that? The plant bridge? I can make a plant bridge. Yep, you can. Um, was there any... From what I can see, is there any connection at all? No. Small... It's it's, uh, it's, okay. You're talking about um, this over here, right? I can't see anything. Oh, never mind. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, bottom. The the, uh, the parts that we've explored are no longer seeable to me. Well, that's weird. Um, you should have party view, right? Now I can see that part. It just seems like everything was disabled before uh yeah it might be great Ro roll 20 did rolled out uh some updates since we last played. yeah i think it might have just so uh, it might have redone so. that is that the same for everybody just out of curiosity can everybody is it completely back or is it grayed out the areas i can see uh, everything i see grayed out look yeah. out behind you sauce look out behind you yeah <laughs> Okay, just random people in your house. Cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I just so... had a random cat come into my house, so yeah. <laughs> I believe if we could uh, make some sort of even a small bridge, I could get across and maybe secure it. I have something that would be useful. Okay. What's that? It is a uh, spell that um makes me not be able to fall off things. Oh. Spider climb. Yes. Your yeah, predecessor I've, had that. I've got yes. spider climb. That's yeah. hilarious. Azaka will mention, oh yeah, we watched uh, Merrick walk up to curse the ball like you did. Yep. Oh yes, I forgot. Um, that is true. I'm going to say, oh, oh, okay, I get what you're asking now, if there's any physical connection. Like um, any even small thing. I can't tell if there's actually lava between here. Just because... You guys are negating every single thing I throw at you. I'm going to say, no, not going to be that easy. No, there's lava in between. Okay. Just because okay. you guys are like ser rock, seriously, but... like, you level up like, oh, this negates all of this now. This negates that. Poison, whatever. Learn me going, oh, you, sauce. <laughs> Hey, now. I've always had the ability to negate your poisons and yeah, diseases. I know. Thank you. I know. I'm, I'm angry at myself. <laughs> so, yes, there is. It's just like basically it's the same thing you're on right now, but bigger, and there's no bridge. Yeah. It's Yeah, this one is, I'd say the bridge is like 30 feet across. This, there's a, the other one. And it was 50 feet across it, correct? 60. 60. No okay. one piece of rope is going to do it. <laughs> oh, I got it. Right. I got it. I got this. Okay, so let's just get over um, to here first. I have to make a bunch of stealth checks here. So, okay, this is Orvex. Oh, shit, Orvex is kind of a skill monkey. But that's kind of creepy for what. Okay, <laughs> that's Orvex. again. Okay, so I need from. I need. No, I got Victor. So I need yeah, I'm gonna click that off because I keep forgetting to click the. 
to GM. Okay. Just, yeah, in the future. So we got. Um, it's hmm. in public now. So it's yeah, fine. 29. Alright. No, 219. Okay. And then I need Merrick, Sauce, and Emma stuff. Am I waiting on one more? Yes. Stop. That's right. And we have Pass Without Trace? Yep. yep. Oh, okay. And a 24. Um, those are all good, good numbers. Let's see what they come out as. I don't think it's going to be as high as the first one we had uh, when we were coming in, but that was extremely high. Yeah, that one I think the lowest was like a twenty something. So it was. I think the lowest was like a twenty eight at that point. All that right, one. So you have twenty four. Hey, consistent. All right. So um, okay, because Merrick read their character sheet. <laughs> You actually can travel twice as fast in the middle of the day. So instead of five minutes, 200 feet every five minutes, you can travel 400 feet every five minutes. So um, go ahead, uh, whoever's going to do it, mark off some, and I'm going to say this is uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, usual starting time. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, this will be in 400 increments. Okay. Um, so here, I'll move, I'll move the token. All right, so that's, you get that far? Yeah. All right. Uh, why are we going that way? I thought we were going to the bridge. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're just going a weird way. Oh, I know what you're doing. Okay. That looked like a wall to me for a second. I forgot that wasn't a wall. Yeah, well, it's, it's, a it's a raised walkway. So Yeah, um, I just forgot. I thought it was like a just like a gated wall type thing for a second. I forgot it was. Um, That's 15 minutes. <laughs> I read the rules. Yay! Yeah, you read, yeah, like I said, you read your character sheet. So, um, Travis, yeah. well, I am, uh, well, we're walking. Can I be by, uh, um, what was their name? Orvex. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, cool. And can I whisper, talk to him while still keeping stealth? Yeah, you, I could say you're like right next to him. I'm whisper talking to him in ancient Amu and about, about um, all the like stuff that I think he might find interesting about our travels so far. Oh, okay. Yeah, he'll and he'll pull out a, a journal and, and just as you're walking totally. I'm just like if he starts to wander the wrong way, like, just like grabbing him his back. arm like <laughs> stop. Okay, so you used uh, 25 minutes. And you are at the edge here, and you're looking across a 60-foot gap with lava below. And I believe it is pretty far down. Um, it is um, 200 feet up. And you do see there is a ruined temple there. So, what was this plan? All right. I think that if we got rope across that 60 feet, I could grow a bridge. Good question. Um, quick rules question because you did say so you said i can control feather fall correct at least enough to navigate slightly uh, yeah like five feet 
when we were coming down, you said we could go through a waterfall, so yeah, that's yeah. not five feet. Well, it was like... I mean, it's you're just making sure, like, as yeah. you jumped okay. the direction yeah, that you went, yeah, your feather you're, falls. You're just... still falling, I believe, yeah. 30 feet every six is, seconds. Is there any way that I could glide a bit in a direction? Every 30 feet, you can move five feet. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this, this is not a glide. Yeah. It's it's a fall that well, I'm... What if we can I'd have to go up probably parachute. like 600 feet, but I could cast Levitate and then do Feather Fall and get us across. Uh, right. At least get me How across. How are you getting 600 feet up? How are you? Levitate. Levitate. Yeah. How fast are you when you do your zoom? Because if you very can, fast, maybe. Can I jump sixty feet with my zoom? <laughs> no. <laughs> with... But if you caught yourself at the end of it with like spider climb. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> What I'm envisioning okay. is you're oh, saying he's gonna get there. She's yeah. gonna get a run at the edge, and just try and go out as far as they can, Dives. and then stick on the wall with spider climb. Yeah, yeah. we all seem okay. like a cat run into a screen door, right? We have. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'll tell you right now, I you do have, still take fall damage on that. Yeah, I also have seen a cat. My cat, one eye, no depth perception, <laughs> try to jump a distance and not make it. Yeah. You're dealing with gravity as well. You're not. Just traveling horizontally, gravity is affecting you. So at some Did point, you want me you to might make a smack into the wall, but it'll be this. way I down. I could break it down like I did the squirrel. <laughs> yeah. What if I reduce myself? Would that make it easier? Hold on, hold on. No. Quick I don't even have that spell prepared, Sauce. so never mind. Climbing Your weight there. doesn't matter. Does it have a grappling hook? I don't uh, think I'm it fairly does. certain... I think it does. I'm not sure because I know it's basically it's to arrest any falls. It's to prevent you from falling when you're climbing. And the funny thing is, is the last thing I wanted to buy with my bag is a grappling hook. That was one thing I was con contemplating. Okay. But it didn't have the weight. Period. My idea was tie rope to a, an arrow, shoot the arrow into the cliff. Oh, the old guy's got a crossbow. Perfect. It's a hand crossbow. Um, I, I mean, I he have... looks at Zaka's like six foot long longbow and go, she might be able to handle <laughs> that better. Question <laughs> What's the farthest everyone can jump? It is your strength score. 12 feet. Yeah, so whatever your no modifier, just feet. your strength score, that's how far you can jump up and across. That's your high jump and your long jump. So, you would have to have a strength of 60, no, 61, to make the jump. And right. this doesn't happen. Uh, um, hey, Sauce, uh, do I have a yes or no on that? Uh, we have a no on that uh, grappling hook. Nobody has a grappling hook. Um, I mean, it's within my long range from my hand cross, so. Yeah. I don't think we can tie a... A crossbow thing bolt? to your crossbow. Yeah, you can. Yeah, and I'm gonna say if you're tying a rope, the accuracy and the range will be massively diminished. Okay. On a shot, I mean. So yeah, I'm gonna say it's at least half your effective. What's the longbow look like? What What's the? Okay, it's 150, 600. Perfect. Well, <laughs> use that. Um, and we'll tie a rope to it. So, if it doesn't hit what we want it to, we just pull it back because we have the other end of the rope. Do we have a sixty-foot rope? Try again. No, no well, we don't have a sixty-foot rope. We have to use two. Yeah, we tie them together. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay. Just to be clear, though, and this, tie will, it to the this will get well. a rope across. It will in no way allow you to climb across it. No, but can it at least like stick into the wall enough that like I don't know a tiny little spider could crawl across it? Yes. Something weighing a pound or less, I'll say, 
right, so Merrick can get across. <laughs> Got by your own words. Oh, damn. Uh. <laughs> I love how everyone just works together to lead you to that conclusion. And, and make me say it. It's like, yep. oh, yeah, you can. Oh, fuck, oh, you can do God. that. <laughs> Fine. Okay. So. So we got a plan. I'll take out my rope. I think I have like half a rope also that got cut off, so I'll just use that cut rope. All right. So yeah, somebody. Yeah. Who's... Merrick, take this bag with you, and I'm gonna give them the climbing gear that I have. This... For when you change, <laughs> it can travel with you. You can better secure the line afterwards, and someone else might be able <laughs> to. Is my camera working? <laughs> no, nope, no, nope, I you, see nothing. Yeah, okay, is, it's just a black screen. No, nope, <laughs> no. Nope. Try refreshing. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, it's cool, it's cool. Okay, I mean, we have to get across somehow. Okay, so Azaka. Okay, first ropes, because it's got to be at least two. Yep, I got him. Okay, so wait, Victor, you have two ropes? Mm-hmm. Shit. All right. <laughs> okay, I think, so I think he might have somebody else's too. Okay, so she yeah, is think gonna try and land it in the dirt because it's gonna have a higher probability of sinking deep into dirt rather than the temple wall. So, yeah, I mean, I just meant like the cliff or dirt. Yeah, not the temple itself. Well, she's got to aim this thing, so yeah, uh, she has to make a. Longbow attack to see if they hit. And we are holding on to the other end of the rope. Yeah, so we'll pull it back <laughs> if it misses. I uh, mentioned okay, that earlier. Okay, I'll be nice and say yeah, you didn't have to kill it. Yet. Um, that one misses. Okay, we pull it back. Right. Try um, again. <laughs> shit, it's not even long enough to hit the lava. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> It's it's uh, at the most it's a hundred feet. Yep. Shit. Yeah. And you said it was like it's two hundred yeah. feet to the fucking lava. Yep. They're not doing too well with. They're they're feeling really stressed. There hey. they go. They feel vindicated now because they had a really rough time yesterday with the boat because it fucking broke on them. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So, all right. It's in. Yes. Okay. And we this, I would say, she made technically an attack. Her stealth is broken. And uh, so, yeah, she is. I'm gonna say she is no longer stealth. Everybody else still maintains their stealth because I'm gonna say you guys. Are but she can re re stealth after. The, the turn after that, but yeah, yeah, but we um, won't get past with that trace. Yeah, yep, they will not get. It will just be uh, a normal. And I'm gonna say, Why? which it's whenever you're in there. It's not just when it's cast. It's as long as you're in the thirty feet. No, because if you leave it and come back in the range, it won't count. Yeah, it's when it's cast, and they have to maintain within thirty feet. If they go beyond that. Oh, okay. They're out of the range of the spell, but if they come back, it doesn't. It's not an island. It's a an initial cast, and then okay. the person is generating. Basically, they're kind of just. So it's like, like a, a field of obscurity. If somebody goes out of it, you're out of it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Warning, though. As soon as I get thirty feet away, everybody's out of it. Exactly. Which once I'm halfway across. Yeah, it won't matter. You, Merrick. Yeah. Will still be. I'm fine. Yeah, but so basically at this point. So maybe we should all step out, but stealth as we do it in a separate thing, at least attempt to as they get across. Are you ready to stealth mm -hmm. without it? Well, okay, hold on. Like right now, I'm saying it, the, the arrow is just shoot, stuck in. Yeah, yeah, we okay. have. Well, and I'm gonna say that fine. took you guys five minutes because you kind of you know made the plan okay. on the way over and then. They, but okay, so you're at 30 minutes now. Um, yep. 
So what is happening right now? Merrick, go ahead and change to uh, something small like a smider, spider or a snake. Go across the rope. Um, Maybe not a snake. They don't really have legs. It's not really something well, they can. Yeah, it's they can slither they across the road. Yeah, across not true. Road. That's true. We're just yeah. True. yeah. Spider working really, really all the time on vines. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Merrick, what do you turn into? Uh, that's what I was just looking up. Okay. Um. You can turn into the unicorn bunny. <laughs> Unibunny. He's, I don't he's a little big for that though. You would need, yeah. I would say it would have to be uh, something with the size of Tiny. Right. Do you have an owl? Fine, fine. Oh, Why no, don't you no just, flying, oh you know? no, you can't fly. Uh, yep, yep, yeah, fly. Can't I just fly thought yet. about that. That's, yep. um, I think level 12 or something. It's, no, for moon eight. druids, it's different. No, nope. oh. moon druids is that. Nope, twelve for nope. it's eight. They're period a they're a for land druid land. period. Yeah, they're, for they're a land druids land. period. It's eight. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. realize that. And they're, for uh, swim, it's four. Yeah. Okay. So I do. I do have spider. What kind of go. spider? It's just a spider. Okay. Sure. All the info I have. <laughs> well, I am giving it to you. Hold on. I should have given you a uh, a list. Yep. Um, I mean, they should have like every spider. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, That'd be I got fine familiar. No, oh, that's fine familiar. That's not bee shit. Yeah. No, this is. But bee hold on, where? Info. Yeah. I mean, a small spider over. should be within the challenge range. Um. Yeah, spider will work. It's a tiny beast, and it's a challenge of zero. Be advised, you have one hit point. Yeah, um, that's pretty <clears throat> standard for and animals. It's gonna take you. But it automatically gives me spider climb. Yep. yep. So. Yep. So much for my dexterity check saves to get across. <laughs> Why I'm even here? Just sure. All right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so it will take you. You can uh, rephrase all of the things we want you to say. That's what you're here for. Yep. <laughs> I have one job on this spaceship. It's to talk to the computer. <laughs> okay, but you can yeah, get that it. reference. <laughs> uh, 20 feet is your speed, so this will take you 30 seconds to get across. <coughs> Not even five minutes. So yeah, you as a spider scamper across. You are on the other side. Mm -hmm. What uh, do you do now? I would like to do a quick scan to see if there's anybody around or if there's if it's. Am I clear? Okay, so from where you are, and. This is, you have to, oh, this isn't polymorph. Okay, so you keep, you keep your intelligence, wisdom, and charisma scores, but you have to use your strength, dex, and con of the spider. So luckily for you, you use your own um, perception. So don't roll the spider perception, roll your own. Oh, okay. Um, from where you are and your point of view, hold on, actually, I have to check something. Sorry. There's a map. Okay, so this is. Nope. Okay, this is. Okay, this one. You see. Um. Just uh, the back side, there's a, uh, you're at the north side, so what you see is, from where you are, uh, the courtyard wall that is kind of standard, you kind of pick up now, like all these temples have a courtyard. Um, this courtyard, um, the wall's pretty broken down, there's a couple gaps in the courtyard wall from where you are, that mm -hmm. you can see the actual back of the temple wall. 
Um, but, and then uh, there's some trees, uh, palm trees, I think. There are, yep, palm, wait, wait. no, not palm trees, they're palms. Palms oh. are bush, they're the, like, bushes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's, they're not, there are some trees, but mostly it's, again, overgrown palms, um, vegetation. But, but that's all you see? Uh, there is, like, vines and such. There are, and there are some trees as well. Okay. So, I want to make sure the arrow is, is like, buried really well in the dirt. Like, okay. can I secure that rope? Titans. Okay, you're, are you dropping your... Beast form, Okay, because yeah. as a spider, it's... you can't do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a little spider hopping up and down. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Um, okay, so so you're just putting it further in the dirt? Right? Yeah, uh, or securing it to something if there's something close by. I'm going to say, I'm going to give this to you, that clearly as you push it into the dirt, that's not going to hold the body. Right. Uh, so, but again, there are some trees around. If I can reach a tree, I would like Absolutely. to see a tree. Go ahead and, so you're going to tie it around a tree? Yeah. All right. Give me a sleight of hand check. You have, uh, pythons too. Do they? I yeah. gave them the climbing kit, which has That's special true. pythons. That's true. Okay, that. <laughs> I want to okay. do Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so yeah, you uh, pound. I'm gonna say you put it. You pound the python into the tree, and then with that, it's designed to secure a rope. You don't have to make a chain, anything. So you you have it tied off, and you're now 60 feet across. And by the way, um, everybody's stealth uh, is what it was. Yeah. It, no, it would drop down to 14 as a group. Right. Because the plus 10 has left. And yeah. Zaka actually isn't hidden at all because they made an attack. Right. So that's where we're at right now. And I'm going to say that took total, you know, looking around uh, another five minutes. So you're at 35 total minutes right now. Okay. Can we secure the rope on this side? Um, I will say, yeah, there's, there's trees and such around. Um, mm -hmm. The climbing kit is on the other side, though. <laughs> I mean, we could have taken a python to. You could to have. The python for us. You could have. But did you? I guess not. We probably wouldn't have grabbed a python for over here. We would have grabbed the harness for over here, though. God damn it! <laughs> okay, so you still. So are you just going to tie it to a tree? How are you going to secure it on the other side? The rope on the other it side? It works fine. You're, gonna, you're just tied around a tree? Yeah. Okay. Uh, whoever is tying it, uh, uh, slide of hand. Slide of hand. Yep. Who has a good slide of hand here? Emma. I would assume so. This is basically, you know, making a good knot. Um, I have actually, a four. A plus four. Uh, <laughs> actually. Orvex will step up and go, oh. I, I have a six. For slide of hand? Yeah. He'll go, oh, I'll watch you do it. <laughs> <laughs> As he sees you handling the ropes and everything. It's like, I'm pretty good, but I think you might be a little better. I mean, could he assist? Um, if you've ever tied a knot, how helpful would it be for another set of hands to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Just... Might not be helpful for another set of hands, but another set of eyes to be like, no, 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 it goes over, not that... under the loop. You know what? That perfect. Then yes, or if you can order justify to it, it to me, that would make sense. Saying uh, you need to give a little more and loop there. Sometimes there's also those times where you need someone to hold. Oh, yeah. that little yeah. spot in place. There you go. All right, that you with advantage. Twenty four. Boy Scout for the win. <laughs> yeah. So you very secure. Um, all right, and I'm gonna say that didn't take five minutes. Um, all right, so there you have a secure rope. Right. Perfect. So all right, 
I am going to cast plant growth. Okay. So sorry, I'm back. Here. Oh, okay. What's going on? Uh, we uh, at this point, the rope has been uh, secured on both sides. Oh. Yep. Uh, okay. Currently, uh, the group, excluding uh, Merrick and uh, Azaka, your stealth has dropped to fourteen. So, um, yeah, what, what are you doing? You've got um, okay. Are you gonna do the fucking? So tell me exactly what you're doing with this. I am creating vines and overgrowth and at the rope. Okay, so. And this is a hundred foot radius. Yes, yes. which means I can get So what so I'm envisioning you're describing just it is a platform. vines and grass start growing up and along from both sides. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And grow towards the middle. So it's basically completely encased the rope. You can't even see the rope. It's now this big bundle of vines. Question. Yeah. Can you arrange yeah. it so that it's kind of weaved in this sort of well, I'm not weaved sure. together? So, so, I wanted to cast plant growth, which causes everything to rapidly grow. Yeah. Yeah. And then I also want to cast this so that I can guide the vines to weave together as they're growing. Yeah, into like a little platform. You, don't you fucking laugh, Sauce. I see you going, oh, we are totally fucking him over here. He's got nothing. We are just literally going to stroll across this massive obstacle, literally not even trying. I see what... The... To grow a bridge. I'm growing a bridge. This is you have to use two third-level spell slots to do this, though. That's a lot. That's yeah. a lot of resources. That's fair. So what happens is you grow literally a vine bridge. It's got yes. handrails. It's got a, a solid footing. System. Yeah. This is Every... literally a stroll across. There yep. will be no skill checks. Um <laughs> It's... And as I am demonstrating, you can stroll across. I'm still talking to the plants. So if there's any weak spots, I'm like, here, just go right here a little bit more. Yeah. Um, you yeah. guys see this? A very solid, <laughs> strong, safe vine bridge is, is now there. I'm going to say, though, you lose that rope. You can't get that rope. Is completely fair. Fine. I'm, yeah, I'm I, am I, I will order some more. I'll read you my, my, uh, my thing I, and I'll order it. Okay, we're good. I still have rope. That wasn't even my rope. Yeah, that was just my rope. So, yeah, I will say all together, the, tying off the rope, growing this <laughs> is five minutes. All right. Actually, here comes Merrick. Uh, hold skipping. on happy ass across this bridge I just made. Hey, hey Merrick, yes. while you're speaking to the plants, I don't know, maybe you want to tell them to let the rope go once they've formed a nice no. perfect bridge? No. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Travis can have the rope. It is fine. I am... <laughs> I'm gonna give him this one little thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. fucking him over. The only thing. I told you I was gonna do this. I know. <laughs> No, I was I hoping said... somebody else would fuck it up or have a different idea, but no. <laughs> they don't even to listen. I was trying to like, hey, throw a grappling hook across. No. Nope. <laughs> throw a gun. So, yeah, um, you guys literally stroll across. There's no... <laughs> so you guys are all on the other That's side. Very now. impressive, Merrick. You, you guys want to sip out of this uh, this tankard I have, also while we're just okay. yes. rolling quietly across this bridge so, that I grew from nothing. Cheers. <laughs> yes. 
Thank you. Thank you. You're as bad as Mao. I like it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, since I've rejoined the party, uh, Pass Without a Trace is still on for another 20 minutes. No. Oh, I can't. If someone leaves, if they leave, they can't come back in. So your stealth is still 24. Azaka is not stealth, and everybody else is at 14. Top right? What's that? Top right? Yes, top right. Sorry. So, okay. Um, hey, you just. Sauce is taking off on his own. I'm following. Okay. Um, uh, oh, I have to try. Um, all right. Okay, I think hold on where we are. Words. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. <coughs> so at this point, uh, Azaka is going to try and hide again. I will join. Yours, you haven't broken stealth. Azaka broke stealth. Oh, we're still stealthing. We just don't have the uh, the modifier added to that. And Azaka that's right. is not stealth because she made an attack with her arrow. That makes sense. Okay. So I thought we attack. would have to restart. Oops. Uh, okay. So Azaka, re- oh, Oops, that was the wrong one. That was over. No, I'm. Oh God, I'm saying I'm. Sorry. Um, yeah, that was Azaka. Yeah, that she's yeah, gonna give us away. Yeah, I'm. And the rest of you coming. Okay. So yeah, that that uh, loot playing doesn't seem so bad now, does it? So oh, actually, they're within thirty feet. Feet of no. Yeah, you. you said. Oh yeah, yeah you there, just said. there it is. Six. And they are following um, Victor. <coughs> so, okay, hold on a sec. At this point, just to be clear, Sauce is gone. He took oh, I was off. Following. Is, are you guys following? Because oh yeah, I, everybody would. Know. I assume everybody's following so, single file. Okay, then or. Maybe one by one across the bridge just for stability, but I don't know. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. You're all on the other side now. So actually, hold on. Nobody move. Okay. So Emma, put yourself. Oh, also, you I make sure that I have vigilant blessing on myself. Okay. By the way, there's a party token on one of the places that we were at before. I think oh, the one with yeah. the keys. That is uh, not where we're supposed to be anymore. Nope. <clears throat> Oops, nope, oh, oh well. So you have a little vision there. Okay, um, Emma, <coughs> you, where, you're not moving the token, are you? Okay, so you would have moved with everybody else. Yes. And Merrick, you would as well? Yeah. <coughs> okay, so you, I'm going to move you up too. So you're all right there. Okay, everybody freeze right there. <coughs> because... Something sees Azaka. Azaka, yep. And at that <coughs> point, you all would see them because they jump out of hiding. Oh, these things again. I didn't um, like those. Actually, real quick, um, <laughs> Sauce, since you're up front there, um, <clears throat> you see that um, there are, oh, there are palm trees growing here. Um, uh, the building is short, squat, um, worn steps go up to the archway that forms the entrance, <clears throat> and there are coiled serpents um, reliefs on the front, all over it, coiled serpents. <clears throat> and you guys have dealt with these before, and you know what they are. These four jacoobies are in the trees, and... That is going to be initiative because they see a juicy morsel in a Zaka, and that's all they see right now. 
but that will be for <coughs> next session. We'll start. Ah. Uh, well, all right. we didn't take a break. I mean, I can keep going. Can we at least roll initiative? Um. All right. Hold on here. Let me get it. Let me get it up here. Oops. Hold on. Let me clear the order. Wait. Don't roll. Nobody rolled, right? That wasn't. No. That was just the turn order oh, okay. thing popping up. Um, okay. <clears throat> Okay, now go ahead and. All right, everybody. Yeah, remember to click on your token. Yeah, that was good. <coughs> that needs to be on the right layer. All right, so is that there? Is it rolling? Uh, you're rolled. You have a sixteen point eighteen. Yeah, I was, I was just trying to see if it was rolling with advantage. Uh, it won't roll with advantage. Oh. Um, yeah, uh, in roll 20. Uh, yes, it can. It does? Uh, yeah, it's a thing in your settings, but oh. you can actually mark it but to it, roll it with advantage. Correct. Well, well, that was the better Initiative one. style, normal, advantage, or disadvantage. It's in the attribute options. Got it. I'll, I'll put that on. I'm just testing something. Okay, that was good. Yeah, Azaka and Orvex will do the exact same thing. I'm just kind of nervous. Okay. So, I think that's two, four, three. Okay, that's everybody. Um, uh. So, I will roll them <coughs> later. But, for now, as far as you guys know. Can you change mine back to 16? Uh, you should be able to do that. Yeah, oh, yeah, you can do, I, I, you can I, do your I, own, I, but I'm just doing it. Right there we go. All right. Okay. So, yeah, I will do their initiative uh, uh, off stream. But yes, when we start, it will be in combat. I like so, it. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, we man. we ran without a break, which I'm feeling because I'm parched. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I mean. If you guys ever want to run late, I'm, I'll go all night. Again, <laughs> I don't have any commitments, but that's up to others too. I can't say too late. Yeah, yeah, I got work in the morning. Yeah, so that was okay. So this is a, I think this is a pretty good spot to stop it right here. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. um, you guys can strategize maybe over the week <laughs> or not, as your. I just wanted to use my extra attack. <laughs> Well, you'll I'm get sure. it first thing. I know. Yeah, I know. You'll, just... you'll have some opportunity. And remember, everybody is hidden right now, so technically, you have advantage on an attack. Other than Azaka. Except for Azaka. Azaka tried. Still had a bad day. <laughs> yeah, they tried, but they're, these guys are passive exception. I mean, it's yeah. not great, but it's better than a six, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's where we're going to end this session. Um, oh, sorry, Merrick, you might be doing some jogging again. You're last in the turn order. <laughs> yeah, well. Well, this is a bit, a bit closer, so maybe not so much cardio yeah. laps. Maybe you'll... I've done okay in the temples. It was yeah. the fucking bridge. <laughs> Leg. If you would have told me, I would have picked you up. <laughs> and then zoomed with you. Just you. Well, look. you were already carrying something. <laughs> yeah, you. No, were. on the other, the way in at least. Yeah. Well, it would have. Again, it would. It would have had your. It would have had my speed yeah. though. Yeah, that's true. Um, okay, so yeah. I uh, hope you guys had a good time. Uh, yes. Sorry, Th this one was really kind of role play heavy, but I, I, I really like. I thought you guys did great. I did too. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I had fun. Cool. Okay. All right. Then uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I will word Smith Max because I. <laughs> I was wondering how long it's going to take you. Is to word. <laughs> hey, guys, I, we I appreciate okay you. Until the, the end when I have to. Oh, that's that's right where you just start this, losing I shut all down. of it. It's like brains like, nope, done, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, we appreciate you coming out and watching Tomb of Annihilation here at Dice and Delinquents. We hope you guys had a fantastic night uh, watching us. 
hope you guys enjoyed the rp and the story reveals and uh the the greatness of that and the the joys of we finally made it across the giant chasm to the wonderful Dakuli moa temple uh Ooh. yes Ooh. i remembered <laughs> um so, guys, we hope you guys join us next Friday for Arnicus, mm -hmm. and we see you guys next Sunday for some more Tomb of Annihilations. We apologize, guys, for the last two weeks. Just a lot of craziness and other things going on. A lot of change in plans uh, due to holidays and things like that. But we do hope to try and get things uh, a little more well-rounded. Mm -hmm. So we hope to see you guys next week. Have a great day. Night, morning, afternoon, wherever it is that you are. Have a good one, delinquents. Yeah, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.